Hello. Hello. Which thing is it again? Uh, this oh, one. Why did you not check this before you <laughs> turn the mute off? That would require preparation. Um, For a brain. <laughs> hey, Early. <laughs> Hey, Hello, Steph. early. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> You're pumped for this stream. I'm pumped for it as well because it's been a few weeks uh, because we had friends visiting and then last week I was absolutely shattered after a work trip. Yeah. Um, so we just thought, nah. Bugger that. <laughs> Bugger that. But that we're here a... today. We are and... here and as a result I've forgotten everything that's going on. That's not true actually. We have remembered we think what's going on because we're thinking that uh, all may not be what we thought it was when it came to the supposed groping on the train you have a feeling that uh, people might be involved well yes there's might that might be planned and then yui mamiya yes so am i remembering correctly that possibly she was wearing the same school uniform as sawasan so maybe mm -hmm. they went to the same school yes well we know that she went to the same school i believe so we need to go and chat to sawasan and find that, out what that the heck. is our current objective this is going to be insane once you progress. Right, let's that's progress. Why, that's why you're pumped, is it? Let's Fair do enough. it. Let's, let's go. So let's go dancing first, shall we? <laughs> I just say it to piss you off. You do realise that. Lucy, hello. Crap hey, is going to happen, apparently, according to Steph. Well, you heard it here first. You need to get in a bit more, by the way. You're, uh... There you go. Yeah, it's better. Is that better? Get it's closer. My, Come closer. Is that better? No. Too close. Too close. Long time no Long see. Long time no <laughs> see indeed. So how do you play this game again? I know last time we introduced ourselves to... Oh, I'm getting confused by the map. Um, we introduced ourselves to uh, the robot game last time. Effectively Robot Wars. I don't remember that. You weren't here. Oh, it started yes, off no, the robots. I do. It was like, ro yeah, school robot was. That's yes. it, yes. You played the game, you know what happens. Yep, fair enough. And yet you're here to to watch us go through it. Right, so uh, Sour is in here, conveniently at her desk. Hey, Sam Fisher. Hello, hello. Let's see what's going to happen. Just the person you wanted to see, eh, Sour? Hi, me again. Iyagami-san. Oh, close to the end of the now chapter, are we? Now it's a bit sensei. あの、ミコシバ君の動画を見ました。わかります。例のあの動画ですよね。Yes, the rather graphic video. Don't tell me she filmed it. さんにはアリバイがあったんじゃないんですか。それならミコシバ君を殺してないはずですよね。でもあの動画は本物にしか見えなくて。ええ、おそらく本物です。あの動画の通りエハラさんは自分の手でミコシバを殺したんだと思います。ただそうなると同じ日に起きた痴漢事件の方に彼女は でも、マミヤユイが痴漢被害者だったことはご存知なかった。だってまさかそんな先生にしたらありえない偶然ですよね。教え子の父親が高校時代の同級生を痴漢してたんですから。それも一日三百万人が乗り降りする駅で。どうい
今俺の知る限り江原さんと間宮由衣、うん、両方に面識があったのは先生だけです八神さんは私が二人を取り持ったと先生は間宮由衣とどういう仲だったんです友人かただの同級生の一人だったか、うん、特別に親しくしてたわけじゃ彼女はクラスの中ではちょっと派手なグループにいて私はそういうんじゃなかったものですから最後に会ったのは、うん、高校の同窓会なんかは大学を卒業した頃に会ったみたいですけど私は行きませんでした同級生がいじめで飛び降りたクラスですから<笑>じゃあ先生は卒業以来同級生の誰とも会ってないそうですなるほどそういえば江原さんと間宮由衣には接点というかもう一つ共通点がありましたえ二人とも過去に身近な人間がいじめを受けて自殺に追い込まれてます江原さんは息子の敏郎君間宮由衣は同級生の楠本光君だから例えば間宮由衣はそのことで江原さんに共感してたのかもそして復讐のアリバイ工作に手を貸した痴漢の被害者を演じることでどう思います、really? 今のことは何かを選ぶのかなそんなこと言われてもあの澤先生もう職員会議が始まりますけどあすぐに行きます13年前に黒川学園であったこと詳しく教えてもらえませんか間宮由衣は楠本光の自殺未遂をどんなふうに見てたんですごめんなさいこれから会議なので殺人に関わることなんです江原はわざと痴漢の汚名を切ることで罪を逃れてる可能性があるおまけに間宮由衣以外にも三越場殺しの共犯者たちがいます彼らは今も野放しになってます<笑>そして俺はもしかしたら澤先生もその一人じゃないかと思ってここに来ました、well. 私が今もそのモヤモヤは晴れてません私にどうしろと言うんです俺が知りたいのは江原と間宮由衣がどういう接点でつながったのか多分先生はその材料になる情報を持ってるはずなんです。That that それはまだ、Maybe. ご自分でも気づいてないことかもしれません。とにかく、もう行かないと。会議が終わる頃に、また来ます。お好きなことです。Yeah, he definitely seems to have had enough a bit at this point, doesn't he? <laughs> It's not going great, but at least I've learned she was classmates with Yui Mami, yeah? That's better than nothing, right? Yeah. I'll take the wins where I get them. Sorry, Sam will want to hear that later too. Now what? Leave the high school. Anything else we want to do in the high school while we're here? Leave the high school. <laughs> we don't have any new dances, do we? Or do we have school stories? I don't know, do? that's the thing.、Um, do you want to go and check whether there's school stories? To yes,、do? I would like to check and、okay. see if there's stuff to do. Come on, you put me、Are、through all、go? that crap of Red Dead every week. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Are we close to the end? No, I think we're like not even halfway through on this. Yeah, she does look pretty suspicious the way she's acting there, doesn't she? So,、um, thank you as well, Sam,、uh, for enjoying our Uncharted 4 videos.、Um, it feels like the past few episodes have been like we've just managed one chapter per episode, haven't we? Pretty much, yeah, because、um, they've been pretty meaty. I'm gonna go in here and see if there's anything to do in the、uh, the fact that nothing's happened straight away suggests that there's nothing. Yagami san. What are you up to? Just hanging out, not leaving. Did you finish the、um, dancing stuff? Or...、Um, the last time I checked the dancing stuff, there was no more.、Um, but I have just started the robot stuff. I will go and see.、Um, you need to rank up the dance gauge every time you dance.、I'm... Pretty sure、mm. I have been. You、Is、need it... to work on the other clubs to unlock more. Well, that, that、oh. would make more sense. I'm just going to go down here and just check. It's not too far to check. Because you need to do a, a dance like three times, is it? Before、yeah. you've like, cleared it? And I have done that. Yeah. Ah. 
he's not here, so it doesn't look like I can do more at the moment anyway. Oh, what a shame. Although, still on the map, but not. So yeah, probably going to have to do the robotic stuff, mm. aren't I? I must admit, I'm not really looking forward to the robotic stuff that much in comparison. How did that work? Was it like um, in Yakuza? The, uh, oh, what's the... Oh, pocket circuit. Pocket circuit. Nothing like that at all. It's not like that. It's not like that. Um, I need to remind myself where they are. So, school stories. So, Stereo High Robotics Club. Where's my... Okay. You're, you're not, Steph, you're not you're a Steph, fan Steph, either. Steph, you probably know this better than me and save me running around trying to remember. What floor is the robotics club on? Because I can do a quick demonstration. Are they in the basement? Wish. No. Um, they are not on the basement. They are on one of the higher floors, I believe. Are they on the roof? Not as high as that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, Yakuza 3? Fleet floor 4, thank you very much, Chemo. Is it Yakuza 3 or 4? That's Yaku Yakuza 3, that is. God, it's been so long. I can't Who's this random guy I can talk to? I'm lost again. I just want to get to the classroom on the third floor. The second floor has two lines on the hallway wall. The third floor has three. Just stay calm. We're I mean, not on the right floor at the moment. Oh, let's just run up the stairs. Do it that way. Bash into a fire extinguisher. So you've just finished this game. Is it four? Chemo. What? No, that is the roof. That's not it. No. Hello from Portugal. Hello, Claudia. Ooh. Claudia, however you pronounce your name. Thank you very much. Nice to have you here. The robotics club here? Not maybe there. Uh, no, that's the. That looks to be a photography lab. Hmm. <gasps> Hope there's a photography club. Oh, there might be. Oh, for goodness' sake. <laughs> Is it not on a bigger... Like, can we open a map and... Oh, enter. We... Mm, those, oh, Is a, there a location on the um, thingy-jiggy? Might be on the second floor. Thinking about it. There is a floor four in another part of the building. Oh, right. Oh, okay. But not this bit, though. That's the faculty. Here you go. So do we go out and then... Esports club room? Down, uh, oh, robotics. robotics club room. There oh. we go. <sighs> I kind of miss Last of Us 2 since we stopped playing that. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's the fourth floor. Kind of looking forward to having a go at the games myself, actually. That is the plan at some point when we've had enough of a break. Here we go. Oh, no one's here. No one here. Oh. Maybe, maybe we should just leave the school. Maybe that's a hint. Yeah, maybe it is. Oh well. Never mind. Hello, Pam. By the way, sorry I missed Hello, your uh, your greeting. I was too busy trying to find the robotics club and found that nobody's there. Yeah, I love the first judgment. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool, wasn't it? Really loved it. Jury's out on this one, actually, so far. Yeah, we're locked outside content. Okay, thank you. I think one of you said last time about how that'd be the case, right? I wouldn't be able to do like side stuff mm. for a little while. I guess if this is going to be the end of the chapter. Is Maybe. this where shit goes down? Oh yeah, I was going to tell Sari-san about Sawa sensei and Yui Mamiya. Well, is she going to have some bombshell to drop? Yagami Yeah. Sawa sensei to Yeah. Yes. Ah. Yappari kanojo to Mamiya Yui wa 13 nan mai onaji class ni ita. Sawa at the moment. Dokyu sen no ijime jisatsu ga atta toki mo. Narohodo. Sawa sensei. Sawa. Koshino-kun no kono de mo ん? 
そして大人になるとこちらのカムロ町で働いていたようなんですうんへえそんなことまでネットで分かっちゃうのええおまけに河合は同級生を自殺に追い込んだことを武勇伝のように話してたそうですカムロ町でなら笑い話にでもなると思ったんでしょうかカモねクミニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコソハイニコガールズバーのマネージャーだって、うん、ええ確かにガールズバーで働いてたようですただその店がどこかまでは分かってません Why the RK after him again? こいつが可愛いしなみたいなでも何で今になって RK が探すんだ彼らはその可愛いを見つけたんですかいやただリーダーの相馬ってやつが言ってた可愛いはもう殺されたらしい何年か前にカムロ町から姿消してそれっきりなんだ。Hmm. Well, was he made to ああ。でもこうしてみると最近似たような話を聞いたよな。今度の河合もみこしばと同じ。過去にいじめ加害者だったやつだ。それが二人とも殺された。Oh, okay. どうでしょうカムロ町では何らかのトラブルで姿を消す人が少なくありません。理由は大体金か女か河合もそんなケースの一人なのでは確かにね河合の件はこちらでもう少し調べてみます、うん、RK が聞き回ったおかげで町の情報もまだホットなはずですから OK、so we can use our chatter Any plans to play Horizon Zero Dawn or Forbidden West? Yes、um, I've platinum Zero Dawn Sherb started it but didn't get very far どうでした、うん岩上さんはなんてついこの間 RK の人たちが河合信也を探し回ってたそうですカムロ町でえそして出された結論が河合はもう殺されたのだろうとおいずいぶん物騒な話だもん確かに最近やから系の人たちが誰か探してるっぽかったし、ね、町の人たちに聞き込んだりしてでもなんで RK が河合をまさかうちの事件とつながってくるんですかね、oh. well, we're now appear to be in Sauri's head. Putting aside the connection between Mikashiba and Kawai, why is our case suddenly so involved? Are we going to be playing as Sauri? I don't know. 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 少しは私も足を動かさないと。Yeah! Wow, I did not expect that today. Awesome. Does she know any moves? Are we going to be kicking people's backsides? Yeah, she's going to kick some ass with the snake move. Ah,、oh, thanks, Laura. Sorry, son. Very kind of you. もしかして RK の連中に聞き込む気ですか？ええ。彼らがなぜ可愛い深夜を探してたか気になります。なら僕も行きますよ。一人じゃ心配です大丈夫。まだ明るいし、人目のあるところでやりますから。それに私一人の方が相手も口が軽くなるでしょう。うーん、確かにそうかもしれませんけど。うん、あじゃあ10分に1回安全確認の電話を入れます。いいえ、それも遠慮してもらいます。へえ。<笑> I love Sari. She's basically like. Independent woman, don't、yep. need no man checking up on me. First, I'll need to find some Marque members, unlike Yakuza, they're hard to identify by appearance alone. But no worries, in times like these, it's good to know the owner of Tender, he's well connected. Ah,、oh, I see, you mean I'm not actually going to get to walk through town? This is Bartender, the first place Yagami san worked at when he arrived in this city. The owner always has his ear to the ground. I'm sure I could ask him where I might meet some RK members. Yeah,、right. you're limited to、yeah. certain spots. No, that's a shame, but fair enough. 
That chick has not moved her ass from that seat. Since the first game? Yeah. <laughs> こんにちは。ターボート仲良しの先生よね。あの子は今日一緒じゃないの。Always the two of them sure can keep up with each other, but if I'm going to ask questions, I'd better order a drink. Wow. <laughs> I like that. Tax bottle. Thank <laughs> マスターに聞いてみようと思ってきたんです。え、なんで。あ、やっぱり仕事の用事だったか。でも沙織ちゃん、美味しそうにお酒飲んでくれるよね。本当なんだか<笑> あら、本当だ。今日マスター、いつもより12ヶ月は若く見える。ですね。本当ですね。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Yes, get pissed, sorry. <laughs> Let's get pissed and watch porn. Yes, because you are a kid, I took it. This was so good as you need to go to Iron Dagger. Yes, we've established that. Kareamo Katagikara, are a kid, this got a kikarate. I saw the store, you are nine da. So, ne? Shikamo Saori chan. Kareakara Kiko, deep in a Hanashio Kikanaki, can I meet I dashi? そうなるとちょっとだけ難しいかも。ちょっとだけですか。サオリちゃんほどの美人が街を歩けば、歩けから近づいてくるよ。ただ、その格好だと私は好きのある服とかメイクにするけど。あ、ウィギャルビーディレ
No extra fluff. That's like Yuki's. Yes. Mm -hmm. Dress that's said to have been worn by legendary Osaka hostess. I like that one. Right. Okay. The baby doll is a bit too much. That one or that one? I like the blue. The navy. Blue it is. Let's do the hair. Now, how did we have a hair before? It was something along those sorts of lines, wasn't it? I think the next one along. Like that? Mm, okay. Maybe without, maybe like that, but without the sort of weird top bun yeah. thing. Like that. No, no, no. Like yeah. one of the longer hair ones, I think. Princess cutting. Mm. Get to the bottom. Right, okay, so there's Soft Wolf. Hey, Giancarlo. Hello. Oh, I like Good that one. You. I like that one. Well, that's nice. That no, goes, I agree, I agree that with That goes with the dress, now. actually. Okay. I think. But for now, is that a natural hair colour? That sounds... Oh, you're not going to go, like, pink or something. I'm just going to check the others, just in case. I definitely think that updo. Yeah, I feel, I feel like we did that one in the first judgment. And I must admit, I was really pleased with how it how all turned, turned out. out. That's cool, Giancarlo. Just uh, hang out and chat. Um, it's fine. Hanging out and chatting is like, absolutely fine. We have no idea what's going on with this story. At she this will point. bring all the boys to the yard. <laughs> yes, she will. Yeah, we have. Well, I have very little idea of what's going on in the story because I seem to. Uh, Basically, every time something important happens, one of the kids wakes up, so... Some lashes. Next one, maybe? That one? Yeah. Not that. Okay. Different colour. Yeah, that's... A perfect one, like that. Cool, alright. Give her some lippy. Maybe like a uh, peachy. Oh, oh. Mm. No, mm -hmm. no, no, no. Mm. No, 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 no. I meant the darker one, maybe. Or, or like a peachy one. Mm -hmm. That's like nice. That. Uh, not the red, I don't think. You don't think? What about the dark one at the bottom? Ah. Oh. Nah. Yeah, I'm sort of leaning like that. Yeah, okay. Sherbs does have a really good memory. He, You tend to remember really random stuff from years ago, don't oh, you? Oh, it's really random shit that's useless like, most you don't of the time. You don't remember, like, stuff you need to do day to day, but you're, like, you're... you're you know, like your working memory is crap, but like your long-term memory, the shit you remember, you're like, remember that one day seven years ago on a Tuesday where we did this thing? And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not. Mm -mm. No. That? Quite like that. I quite like that too. That seems a bit excessive, having a watch on the same yeah. wrist. Get the big blingy sapphire. Fine. Would you like some perfume? A show-stopping perfume that keeps mm -hmm. the wearer calm in any situation. A popular perfume that raises the wearer's spirits. I feel like she needs the calming one. That's got a bayonetta style to it. It does, but I don't think it suits the outfit. I don't think it outfit. suits the outfit, no. Earrings. Maybe the, the hoops. But. Mm. None of them, to be honest. That kind of goes with that, the... With the dress, the, the dress. trim. Yeah. I think, yeah. I agree. Nails? Nail yes. punch? Yes, nail nails would be a good idea. Mm. Actually, I don't think any of those nails. Wow. Yeah, no. Hey, Wood. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. 
Right, what else are we doing? Tiara? Nah. No. Got anything I've missed? Oh, cheeks. Sorry, I haven't done the cheeks. Something just yeah, a little just, bit more. Just, yeah. just a little bit more. We've done Lippy. It were good. Am I getting my gok on? <laughs> Your gok one. Oh, we did? Yeah, I think yeah. she looks pretty hot. Yeah, state of play. I was a bit, I was a bit of a negative Nancy about it. I mean, some of the stuff looked okay. Yeah, I it wasn't brilliant. <laughs> Night time now. This is the first time I've heard it. That's it. Mari is like this. It's like a mess. Why is it so beautiful? Oh yeah. Oh, we did good. That was a bit pathetic. That it was. But never mind. <laughs> There's something missing. Pride in your own beauty. So far, I'm feeling like I'm still more proud of the first effort. Yeah. I don't know, I mean, she looks pretty hot. She does. Okay, but Her boobs just got bigger. Very well hidden before, weren't they? No, 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 but like that view to like the... I'm sure those boobs got bigger. <laughs> yeah, we went with the uh, mature. Oh no, was it exotic or mature Tifa that had the Chun Li type dress? Uh, it was sporty, yes. Sporty Why don't we take a walk? So we're going to have two lovely ladies wandering around in Camaro Show at night yep. by themselves. <laughs> Have we ever played any of the Far Cry games? Uh, no, not really. We did a demo. A demo. A long time ago, and it was like Far Cry three, five. Like uh, I can't remember what it was. Don't even know. It was many years ago. Many actually. years ago. And... Time to walk down Semrio Avenue with any arcade. Egg over there. Arcade guys approach us. We'll reel them in. Yes, you will. And I can ask them about Shinya Kawai and see what they found out so far. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> right. And I'm trying to think, like, what. So you said about my um. What? What? I'm seeing a lot of stuff actually here, like <laughs> I've not seen in the chat so far. What? The Giancarlo. She's looking more and more like Sherb's specifications, eh? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I didn't, didn't see that one. I didn't see that one. It's there. Where? <laughs> It's right there. Oh no, it's actually no you don't have it actually. <laughs> That's why you didn't see it. That didn't actually pop up on her screen. Um and now I'm trying to think, like, Steph, you're saying about my distinctive memory. I mean what's got you thinking <laughs> I've got a distinctive memory? What what on earth happened demonstrated that? So I don't remember like <laughs> Eh, whatever. Yeah, I wonder why I didn't get that message. Weird. No, I don't think I'd want to live in uh, in Camarocho either. She's not exactly walking in the most elegant way for that dress. I'm trying to do it slightly differently. Right. Yes. I think it's because the dress is kind of short. Like, you need to kind of walk, like, mm. one foot in front of the other a bit. She's quite sort of... You can tell she. Maybe that was deliberate. You can tell she's kind of not that comfortable in maybe. that outfit. There's a listening thing here, but it's not giving me anything. Oh, where we go? Maybe she's going to give her walking tips now. Well, hello, ladies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。ねえ。
そいつもお姉さんたち連れてったら喜ぶと思うし If they're okay, then it might be good to take them up on the offer. How can I know for sure? Hmm, I don't know. I'll just say, we're seeing what Steph said in the last game when she interviewed Kido. Yes. Oh, yeah. It was RK, right? You say, I want to get wild tonight? That sounds a little bit wrong. You're just my. Oh, I don't know. I don't know which one the answer is for that. I want to get wild tonight. That sounds kind of in keeping with. Or, or you're just my turn. Chodo eatokin I wanted to get really wild. Because they might say, Oh, we've got somewhere we can take you. Saiking Act like a seductress, your scoping print out. Yes, indeed. You never told me that. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. そこの人たちって<笑> もしかしてあなたたちって。まあ、大きな声で言わねえけど、RKの中でもちょっと知られてるもん。Pretty yeah, nice. I wonder who broke it, yes. Was and it what Kaito? I had to do was ask... we, we didn't fight them as Kaito, did we? We've not played directly as Kaito, oh. but Kaito might have been there. When we were yes. there as Yagami, sorry. Why were they looking for me? Kamuro Chou are now all RK, right? Well, yeah. It's time to get the time to get the time to get the time. I don't know if I'm going to get これからはいかにルールのね、アンダーグラウンドで戦えるかが物を言う。壮絶な世界。かっこいい。そういえばこの間、RKの人たちで誰か探してたみたいだけど、何年か前にそう。さすが、お兄さんたちは情報通なのね。ごめんね。ある日突然姿を消したってやつだ。カムロ町じゃ珍しくもねえ話だけどね。何それ面白そう。いや、さすがにダメだった。そいつは可愛いって男で、この町じ
女も混じってたんだとでももう5年も前のことだからな A group of civvies shoved Kawai into a van and they were old acquaintances. Nothing to do with like the、um, mm. people at the school or something like that. Could be Sawa, Yui. Could have been any of them, yeah. Yui? Yui, Mamiya.、Yeah. Could they have been classmates from、Ooh. Kurokawa Academy? No, I'm just rushing to conclusions. So, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. Tick, why are you asking all this stuff? We've got a picture of that. 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 RK はその誰かから人探しを依頼されたわけですよね。Sort of、そいつはもうちょい上に聞かなきゃわかんないんだけどさ。それよりちょっと待った。Why are you so interested? k a i s going to come along and sort of that. かわいいシーンやって言ってたけど。なんであいつのフルネーム知ってるの、oh, fuck. ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、Please tell me Sari's gonna kick some ass. Uh. Go on. Hit him with the lawyer. They wouldn't fucking dare. Hit him with the lawyer. Yeah. Genda Holy Sujimisha no Bengoshi de Shirosaki Saori to Yimis. Yes. Sumi Aka ni Kono Teo Hanashi na Sai. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so, no, you really look at it. Hana Sanaito. Anata, you took a man, don't you take you to court for salt? So, now, to go tabrakas, you know, that was there. You know, me, Saori Jan. Ah, Zakin Janizonita. Saori Jan. Is that, uh, Higashi? Higashi. Chimpiro. Higashi. Nice. I wonder if we see Higashi. That's no worry, Chimpiraga Hurta Munda. I know. Bye. Then I'm dead on a Konomachi Aruk Tokyo Kyotskina. Dokuni. Bijin. It's very random. I just appears. Dakara Renante. <laughs> he doesn't realize it's Sari. No. Shirosaki, this. Genda Hori to Jimisha. He's like, what? Oh, he says, what? Muso da! I feel like the music should have stopped by now. Oh, Kigatsuki Masenda. Shirosaki says, Shikashi, Sugisne. Roll me some back in, mate. Ah, Charles Arcade Manager. <laughs> ありがとうございました、東さん。私はともかく、マリさんを危ない目に遭わせるところでした。本当に助かりました。若くて強くてかっこいい。He might just be my type, but we're gonna ma <laughs> match make these two. RK ですね。最近町中で調子づいてるんですよ。Taro Higashi san, former Matsugani family member of the Tojo clan. He's like a brother to Kaito san and he knows Yagami san too. How convenient he was there to help us out,、yeah. right? He runs his arcade full time now, but apparently he still keeps up with Yakuza fashion trends. Well, see that. You got there. And then the Tokoma de Okurishmas you. Eh, Anani. Oremosaki, he must tell Munda. Hala, so Nandiska. Jodo he does ne. Himana mono doshi. Thirsty much, Mari. Ja, so no mani. Yagami san, you then will eat a sassy to get us. Inakai was a bully 13 years ago. He vanished from Kamarocha when he was abducted by a group at a van. Seems they were all people he knew, and it's possible they were his classmates from Kurokawa Academy. Oh, thank you, Christian. Hello, by the way. I don't know if you said hello already, but good to see you. He's still a jackass, I see. I like it. Shirosaki sensei no denwa ni wa two call inai ni deru ttenu desu. Demasen. Okashi desu ne. 
What's he doing then? 6,000 SP for that! Jesus Christ! Ah, but if you look at it, I've heard a lot of different things recently. I've heard a lot of different things in the past. I've heard a lot of different things in the past. Oh no, just something happened to us because... Oh no, just something happened to us because... We're being watched. He does look like a me, just in a different way. Are going to get jumped? Something's going to happen, isn't it? Now I guess I wait for Sawa Sensei. Still a lot of time before the faculty meeting ends. Does that mean we can do school stories again? Oh, it's a message from Amasawa. One of my underclassmen wants to talk to you. Could you come to the club room again after class if it's not too much trouble? Is she going to get us beaten up? Why would Amasawa want to get us beaten up? Oh, different person. Ignore me. I was thinking it was Sawa. Definitely not Sawa. No, no, she's in the meeting. <laughs> Never mind. Ignore me. It's the mystery club chick, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Let's talk about her lower classmen. I've got time, so I might as well go and see what that's all about. There might be some new jobs over at Sukumo's office too, so it looks like all the uh, Yay. side stuff. <laughs> oh, piss off. <laughs> Still a bit before the faculty meeting ends. I should kill time elsewhere. Strap in. Okay. Ooh, go to the MRC in the evening. evening. Kill some time, main story. Right, okay, well, back into school. Or do we actually want to do some... Uh, like, if I do stuff for the MRC, that might progress the story a little bit too quickly. So you know well, what we're going to no, do? No, the MRC is on the side. It is, but it's also killing time. And Oh, I don't know. I'm going to go and uh, check out the jobs at the office, I think. So okay. Where are we going? I forget where we need to go. Where's the house? Uh, do search, there. if you don't know. Yeah, I could have done that, but I did it that way. It also works. I've not actually had a fight yet. I'm going to look for a fight just because I'm. I want to remember how to actually fight in this game. Come here, boys. There's a taxi app. You can actually like go for a taxi. Ah, oh, I've missed this. He's outside of the sort of area. Come on. He's too scared. Oh no. Oh, you can fast travel from anywhere. Alright then. From the phone. You see, we've played so many Yakuza games now that it just feels like natural to aim for a taxi rank. It does. Like, I can't imagine just ringing a taxi. Wow. That's the way to start. <laughs> Can you do this again? Oh, we can use the skateboard quite a bit. such an over-the-top counter, but it's brilliant. See, I'm really old-fashioned. Like, I've not got on board with the whole calling an Uber thing. I went off Ubers on that night I got stuck in town because the wind was so bad and the metro shut down. And they kept... Um, um, and they basically... You know, I had one apparently coming. Oh, no, sorry, it's cancelled. It's not coming up. It's not coming for you anymore. That happened about five or six times. Yeah. Uh, and I just... Uh, okay. I mean, that was a rogue yeah. weather incident, but... <laughs> I love the surrenders. <laughs> you bully sherbs. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Oh, I remember. I just remember now there were a couple of like abilities I managed to get in um, 
uh, crane style last time. It involved like some sort of jumping and stuff like that. It was quite funny actually. Oh. Oh. That's how much time I needed to kill. Okay. We'll carry on. He <laughs> did a reversal, so I... One is nearly gone. Well, that's the EX reversal. Got my super speed because I uh, avoided him. Hit him with a traffic cone. Or oh, pop flash. Why on earth you playing at nothing? Hold on one. Yeah. A vibrant plant. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> what the heck happened there? It's smooth. What? Where are you aiming? Hold on one. It really helps. Yeah. That's not a lot more today. It seems to be even worse than normal. Oh, you're in Germany, are you? Ooh. Nice. Whereabouts in Germany you are? Ooh, tough guy. Been to Stuttgart, haven't you? I've also been to Munich Ooh, and we've been to Berlin as well. Berlin. Probably some other places like, um, on orchestra tours and stuff. I'm having fun. You're not going to be trying that fish style. Flopping on I love that one. <laughs> the thing is, you get a really large amount of um, SP for doing that. You get like 150, I think, when you do that. So I'm trying to practice things and it's not working. I'm not doing it right. I think you're overthinking it. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to run across the road, I'm going to get run over. <laughs> Fish style. <laughs> silly, silly salmon style. Silly salmon. <laughs> or Yagami, silly, silly salmon. salmon. <laughs> How are the jobs looking? Oh, there's loads. Oh, fucking hell, there's loads of them. On-site demo test from God Tier Games. These guys again. We actually reached the finish line in our latest project. A, quin a twin stick shooter called... Oh, no. Ercilios. Ercilios. About to wrap up the final testing phase where we have users play the game and give us their opinions. It's supposed to be basic market research, but instead, Shinonami-san and Kinugawa-san have been at each other's throats again over the final build. They've agreed to let you make the judgement call on this, and I'm really hoping you can help us out again. I'll be waiting for you in front of the industrial hall building. You fancy that or what? Please investigate a corporate spy. Uh, I work as a writer, and my recent ideas have been getting stolen by a certain other writer. This has been happening for three consecutive works. I've hired a number of detectives to look into this, but they weren't able to find the culprits, and this has me troubled. I've heard rumours about you from my acquaintances hmm. at Cabarocho. I understand you're a great detective, and I'd like you to find the, ident the identity of the corporate spy. I'll be waiting for you in front of the office in Cabarocho. Azuto Jumonji. So that one will be on-site demo test. Um, well, the the first one is just outside the office. Mm -hmm. So we could do That's that That's in Cabarocho. Are we not there? No, we're in... Okay, what about yeah, on-site demo test? Let's do that one. Okay. They're offering a test demo. Makes sense. They want user feedback before releasing it. Looks like Shinonami and Kinagawa aren't going to let up until the last second. Buy them. Fine. Let's do that then, shall we? That ain't going to work. Right. Where do we need to go? Uh, that one to the left. Maybe? Or is that the, the school building? That's another That's quest. That's the school building. If you go on your sub, uh, side quests, won't it come up on that? Oh my god, there's loads. Uh, 
Oh Jesus, there's loads! Surely I'm able to like filter this somehow. Um Or if you just Parkour go... demo then, here we yeah. go. Or if you just read the thing when when it starts, like it said where to go. Industrial hall building or something like that. And then like if you that. do search. Where the fuck is that then? More stuff over here. Paradise VR. Oh god, okay. Extracting the That's truth. extract. Where's the industrial hall, guys? Oh, that's my phone. Is your phone falling out of your pocket? Where's this industrial hall? Might be stupid and missing it. Yeah. Alright. Oh, the dates also have side cases. Oh god. Is it that? Go out. Oh, that's paradise for yeah. Where's the industrial hall? Over here. So that's drone racing. Maybe it's the drone racing. It. Surely it would come up, right? It should, it should be noted, be noted on it the should, map. It should, shouldn't it? So that's not just us thinking. Uh. I don't see anything else. Does it come up as a blue one or? It should be a blue one, yeah. Are you sure it's not the drone bit? I don't know. It would have the name of it rather than question right. mark. Oh, I don't know. Is it in this city? And it's, oh, the it's the VR, VR place. place. Oh. Okay. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. given the amount of health he had left. But never mind. That was strangely satisfying. I love the fact that they don't discriminate and he just comes along and beats school kids up as well. Like if they come along give them trouble. Ah, okay, they're in the same place. Fine. I was going to listen to that and I thought, you know what, I can't be bothered. Not right now. <clears throat> Yeah, there's a lot of people in the chat who are excited about uh, the Kaito DLC as well. Oops. Going this way now by the looks of it. Oh, thanks for the follow, like 38 minutes ago, Kimo. <laughs> oh. I swear, it used to tell us in Restream Chat that there's someone followed. I need to check that out. Get it to actually make noise. Wow, that was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Just what? <laughs> it was at that time as well we finished a fight by doing a Hulk smash style move as well, which was quite satisfying. <laughs> right, come on, let's do this. I'm glad they've done DLC for Kaito. Yeah, that is cool. There's, uh, there's a dude, I like him. 10, Ten hours of content, that's pretty content. good. That's nice. pretty good. Take that. Definitely take that. I'm aiming for this, by the way, which is why I'm at. So when is that coming out? End of March. End oh, of the month. Fuck, okay. So we're probably not going to be finished with the game by then. Give us another three months or something, we'll be done. Hey, what's his face? Yeah, hey, fine. Go really like that, is it? Big boy. Throw you down and then smack you in the face. Okay, so it takes place after the main fight. 
so we can just take our power when we get to it. Like pretty much every other game. Horizon's been west, probably be next year, the rate I'm going. Life is Strange 3 is on the list. Finish the fight by doing this. <laughs> that was sick, Steph. What was sick? Some of your moves. Some of my moves. <laughs> that moves too much spinal inducing operation as always. Oh yes. Ah, uh, here he is. The dude. Hello. Okizaki san. Yagami san. So glad you're here. Did you come to try out the game? Yeah. Oh, yes. It'll be helpful. Uh, if it'll be helpful, do you plan on making any changes based on the feedback? <laughs> Technically, the QA phase is over, but we've got a bit of an issue. What's <sighs> wrong? See, only a few hours before release, Shinonami san and Kinagawa san started arguing again. I saw that. Is it getting bad? Uh. Oh, hi. You. If it ain't Yagami san, you come to help us with our little problem here. Sure. I'm telling you, Kinagawa san, I'm not budging on this. Oh, these guys. <sighs> Shinonami, you're stuck in the past, pal. Gamers nowadays ain't looking to get tortured the whole time. Elden Ring says otherwise. I thought the games where you die all the time sell like crazy now. Those are different demographics. Not sure you get the market we're after. In that case, Kinagawa san, I'm not sure you get game design. Ah! Excuse me! Oh, this is getting ugly. A particularly hardcore demo event. What's oh, going to no. what's going to happen this time? Yeah, we're not really in that demographic, are we? Oh yeah, uh, that that heat action was pretty good stuff. Yeah, I did like that one. Yes, it is the follow-up to the last side case, indeed. You're right. I remember these two now. Yeah. Yagami's here. Let's not forget about the test. Right, the test. Oh, shit. Let's be off. Right. Is it a VR, like, something or other? I have to it's going to be hard, no matter what happens. This must be where they're going to let people play the game. All we'd like you to do is just play a bit of the finished product. Nothing special about it, we just want to see how you fare going in cold. We've all spent too much time in this thing ourselves. Sure. You play what? games at all? Any good at them? Well, solid. Well, no, we not really. We play games, but well, I'm a bit shit at them, to be honest. I hate the arcades every now and then when I'm in the mood for it. You're a real deal game, I am, huh? I didn't, you didn't know how to do this mini game thing. You didn't touch it again. Oh, oh shit. great. <laughs> Bodes well. I wouldn't say that. Perfect. Huh. Go ahead and start. The game will walk you through the basic controls so it'll all be set there. Don't worry about game overs or anything, just relax and have fun. Yeah. Alright. Destroy the enemies. What? Okay. Alright then. It's not like the one we did in the arcade. Oh, it's a drone style thing, by the looks of it. Oh, are you shooting them? Yeah, I'm in the drone. It's a twin stick shooter, isn't it? So it's like a, it's going to be like a top down. So do you want to do your rapid one, probably. Energy wave might stun them. Yes, it's like a top down shooter. Oh, fun. Okay. I reckon we got this. Yeah. Fuck. Ooh. Oh shit. That's Fuck. Okay. Oh, work. okay. Okay, that seems fine. It is like near autonomous, but not as good. Okay. Fine. Mini game crazy, 30 SP. That was fun. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Looks like you enjoyed it. Yeah. I'd definitely play that again. Even Yagami enjoyed it. He said himself he's not a gamer. That means no spec changes. I win. Yeah. <laughs> what? It was pretty tough at the same time because it was basically a case mm. of like you took two hits and it was over. 
My producer instincts are just telling me this game won't be a hit as is. It's still too hard. Got to simplify the controls more. That's not true. The controls are one of the highest rated... the uh, highest rated aspects of the game among the testers. Joe! It's laying good enough. We've got to push the envelope. We've got to break barriers. We're going to make it so entry-level players can clear a stage with just a button press. Mm. Somewhere in between? Mm. You want a clear stage button. We're supposed to provide challenges so users can feel rewarded for their efforts. Who can feel rewarded by a single button press? <sighs> I'm gonna say it's sad seeking your talk like just another fossil in this industry instead of really putting your mind to the problem. How dare you? I am a visionary! <laughs> I know. I did enjoy the game. If it's fine as is, maybe we can all just move on. Move on. <laughs> that ain't happening. If you're a gamer, you'd know how important this shit is. Yes. <laughs> this is about that woman, isn't it? What woman? That hostess, the one you brought to test the game the other night. Yeah, that woman you've been so into That's lately. Why he wants her to pass the level. It's moving so you brought her here. Once she was all, I can't do anything. Ugh, it's too hard. You changed your tune. You prick. <laughs> you said the game was hard and it put her in a bad mood and now you just want to win her favour back. You're going to be all, hey, Hikari-chan, I put all your effing suggestions in the gosh darn game because I effing love ya. <laughs> you can call yourself a creator. If you want to get, a, if you want to use a game to get laid, go make your own. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. I'm going to kill you. Oh, here we go again. Let's <laughs> calm down. Shut the fuck up, Yagami. I'll kill your ass too. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Oh, it's easy with you and kill this kill that. Now I'm even starting to wonder if you're really Yakuza. Oh, fuck you, man, Yakuza. I've been a civvy since I crawled out of the womb. Uh, Alright, let's take this outside, so we're going to beat you up again, are we? Okay. This seems a bit unnecessary. <laughs> you're going to get it now, Yagami. He needs to find a girl that doesn't mind the difficulty. It says the person who gave up after the first, like, tutorial boss of Bloodborne. That's what I wanted. Oh. Get off! Here we go. Oh, okay, shit, that didn't work. Uh oh. Case like that, is it? Tiger? Oh, come on. Yeah, Tiger's the way to go in this one. Yeah. It's a stupid amount of money and 5,000 SP for doing not very much, really. <laughs> Snake is so broke, yes. Oh. Mad Dagger. <laughs> Didn't we already have a talk about what constitutes abuse of power? What's it going to take, man? Chill your tits. I'm real sorry. I guess the blood just went to my head. Again. Can we release the game? No more spec changes? Fine. Yeah, but general enemy, just one thing first. <sighs> this wasn't about wanting about this wasn't about me wanting to jump Hikari Chan's bones. <laughs> we creators gotta keep an ear to the ground to learn what the audience wants. That means we've gotta keep open minds on when we put in our games too. And if things aren't going your way, sometimes you gotta flip a table or two to make your point. I can't tell you the number of times I've seen a table flip lead to a real masterpiece at the end. I'm just saying, it wasn't for Hikari-chan. Honest. Okay, we'll just say it wasn't. <laughs> At least the game is finally done. Really, that's all thanks to you. Oh. Feel free to stop by and play whenever you like. The game will be right here waiting. Yeah. 
Enhancement contacts, one. Alright. Is that an accessory we can wear? Yes, Must be. Items. No disguise required. Gear. Accessory two. Yep. Defense plus 3%, reduces blind duration by 30%. Might as well. Out of here. How are you doing? Good to see you. We're good. You? Right, now what? I'll go to the MRC now. If that's okay with you. Yeah. First of all, something to eat. On the way. That looks like a suitable... Le Nouveau Hammer. Should we go there? Yeah, why not? Then you know what I can do? I can skateboard there. Oh, I just realised though. Skills. 31,000 SP to use. I've forgotten we've got quite a bit of that. Uh, I could get a health boost. Snake. You think the snake health boost? I mean, it does. Well, you're in snake all the freaking time. I don't think so. it makes any difference. It just increases your oh, health. Oh, okay. Well, whatever then. Yeah. But yeah, okay, it. I'll do snake just because you asked for that. Okay. I'll kill that. Thanks. What's How in our you... special menu? You've unlocked a new skill. What does these eater ones do? Just oh, boost okay. health recovery. Hmm. Blame shifter. Silent destroyer. Yeah, that's helpful if you get lost. Fine, I'll say that then. Master of Deception. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. The photo op one you might as well get. Okay. Social smoker. I feel like I haven't got mm. very many snake things. Okay. What's hidden arts level two? Oh, you yeah, haven't got enough for it. I haven't got enough now. That's the whole thing, like you... Agonising strike? Charge finishing blows. Oh, so it's blows. like the tiger. Evasive blitz, that could be good. Mm -hmm. No one I'm going to get for 3,000 SP. Probably not very much at this point. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's all expensive in there. Great fall adept? On. Burst attack or dodge? What are those ones? Or what's handle the heat? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, effectiveness of the reversal against bosses. Maybe tiger? Yeah, it might not be a bad idea actually. Well, that's. All, all of our SP for now. Mm. Yeah, health's gone up a little bit. Go and get some food. What are these points actually? Rare ah, shit. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. What do these points actually get you on the skateboard? <clears throat> Might have told me at one point, but I forgot. Buy different skateboard accessories, skins. Quite possibly. I feel like I must have skateboarded down here because there's no one to pick up anymore. Oh, it's a new very rich guy. Should we find a new very rich guy? Yeah. Get shit to the money. Yep. Why not? Hell not. Hello. Because these guys are actually quite tough in this. I like the way this like. <laughs> The way he crossed oh. <laughs> picked me up and lobbed me. <laughs> oh, yeah. That hit me quite hard, that did. <laughs> I think the last time you fought one of these guys, then yeah, you exactly. got a game over. I didn't get a game over against this guy. Oh, if you've done the skateboard school story, you can buy things at the skate park. I need to Ooh. get some better... Um... 
I need to get some more uh, healing items, don't I? Well, you just get good. Well, now. Oh. They've made the nouveau reach a bit harder. Yeah, so it was getting a bit silly after a while, wasn't it? When the uh, old Japanese games, it's like it's dead easy. Exactly. Nice. Yeah. That is a good way of doing it, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Stomp on him. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> 100,000 yen for that. No. Yeah, I, I do like the fact they're a bit more challenging now. Oh, wrong way. Fucking hell, what am I doing? Oh. These, guys, like, these guys look fun. Fucking Mr. Shape down. Shape has not the pleasure of him yet. Nope. I don't know how I got that to look forward to in zero, though, haven't I? Yeah. Do you remember me running away from him all the yep. time? <laughs> well, I'd nip money from oh. him when he was asleep and then uh, run away. Yeah. Category is going to get a boot to the face. <laughs> right, but oh, this this is where I was going to eat. This is. Oh, oh. very. <laughs> I was Ew. not expecting this. <laughs> we can see you now, despite the lack of reservation. Well, that's very fuck it. Oh out, man. wow! I'll have the lamb chops with some red wine, please, and a bit of baguette. Oh, roasted duck. Oh, that's everything I can get. That is. Eighteen thousand yen. What do you mean it's everything you can get? Oh, because you're full. Okay. Arigatou. Thanks just for get dying the, with just me. Get the wine. All the wine. <laughs> Fuck it. I've got 100,000 yen from the nouveau riche, didn't I? Red wine. Wow. wow. I'm starving, so just <laughs> have some red wine. wine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I I'm kinda pretty want tasty. Thanks. Stuck pancakes now. Oh, now you said it. Right. A bit pissed. So obviously that means I'm gonna run into the road and get my skateboard out. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, I got knocked over by a car. <laughs> get up. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh fucking hell, I'm drunk. <laughs> skateboard. Drunk in charge of a skateboard. Oh shit. Oh. No. No. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh Jesus! Maybe not. Oh, where are you? Oh, oh, fine. Not drinking and skating. Yeah, probably best. <laughs> oh, oh, who just picked a guy up and locked him? I tried to. Will you stop blocking? This isn't Yakuza 4. 3. 3 was the really bad one, wasn't it? Yep. Lovely flailing around in the air, darling. <laughs> just try out these things like I'm trying to sort of activate the hidden arts and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> he got run over by a car. <sighs> oh, 
Well, here's the school anyway. <clears throat> Let's go and see Amasawa, mm. see what's going on there, and then we'll go and see Sawa again, okay? Because mm. I know you're just bored. No, it's you're fine. You sat there just like... You're fine, you're fine. Uh, right, this way. I think I will get into it. Like, it helps that when the squishies don't like it. Yeah, that definitely helps. Um, and, yeah. Help, it'll probably help when we actually start streaming every week as well. Yeah. Because we obviously had a few weeks off this, haven't we? Right. Yagami san. Thank you for coming. Amasawa. What is it you wanted to ask me? Here's one with gymnastics. Well, maybe not one <laughs> I'm doing. It's a rather long story. Is this a good time? Let's hear it. Everything will be put on hold until you clear it, okay? Sure. Ah. Yeah. After all, I am the MRC's outside counsellor. This is about my classmate. <clears throat> Actually, I should go get him now. Be right back. Right. Yoroshiku. Hello, Shimada. I am Hisayoshi Shimada, a second year. I'm Yagami, the MRC's advisor. Nice to meet you. <coughs> nah. What exactly do you need help with? Do you believe in things like curses? No. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Just a preface. This case is going to sound like either mysterious or ridiculous, depending on your answer. So. I know it's going to sound crazy, but please, you have to believe me! <sighs> Just tell me what's going on first, and then we'll see how it ranks with all the crazy things I've heard. <laughs> Curse of the Amasawa family heirloom. About the case no. first. Would you mind starting us off, shimada -kun? It's about this lucky cat I have at home. There's always a cat. A lucky cat. You mean one of those statues of a cat waving its paw, or like an actual cat? <laughs> the former, yes. They're said to they're said to bring good fortune, so you can spot them in all sorts of businesses. Mm-hmm. Like that? Yeah. There are quite a few kinds, and most of them are said to bring good luck. But black lucky cats are supposed to ward off bad luck in particular. <laughs> Didn't know they got that specific. Thing is, my lucky cat doesn't do any of that. It doesn't bring money or good luck, it just attracts tragedies. Mm -hmm. This is it. It does look a little bit sort of... Sus. Potentially evil. <laughs> potentially evil. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely not a lucky gold cap. Looks pretty old. My dad bought it from an antique dealer friend of his. Usually they're really expensive, especially the pre-war ones like this. My dad's friend warned him at the time, this cat brings more bad luck than good. Right. Yeesh. So why did dad buy the thing if it's supposed to be cursed? Just checking, I thought I heard him. Okay, cool. He collects all sorts of rarities, especially the stuff with interesting stories. He goes nuts for those. Mm. Sounds like uh, an interesting guy. Yeah, a lucky cat that brings more bad luck than good. I admit that's an intriguing hook. Yeah, your dad really should get a refund, absolutely. And Yagami-san, the curse or whatever it is, evidence is starting to pile up, making it seem real. <laughs> Ever since acquiring that statue, the Shimadas have been through one ordeal after another. Nandatte. Like what? Cow's on a mission again, yeah. Just checking on the kids, making sure they're okay. The unlucky cat. Like some pretty scary stuff. My dad got a really high fever all of a sudden and was touch and go for a bit. Our house caught on fire too. Potential arson and serious illness. You weren't kidding, no? That's scary stuff. And my grades keep slipping ever since dad bought the thing. I'd never dropped below 10th place before this. Mm. Is it really the statue's fault? You sure can't blame me for the ghost. Or woke my dad up in the middle of the night standing right there next to his bed. Yeah, Kimo, I, I agree. <laughs> the ghost did. He was dressed like an old-timey soldier and totally pale, just stood there like he was at attention. Okay. But he kept moaning, Give me back my cat. My dad thought he was dreaming, so he rolled over and went back to sleep. Was it just a dream? Yeah. I don't know, but the next day, that's when he started feeling awful. Like he'd been cursed or something. 
Well, that would be unsettling, even if it was just a string of coincidences. My dad's still not out of the woods now that he's healthy either. He almost got run over by a car a couple of days ago. Jesus Christ. It's still going on. This isn't really sounding like coincidence anymore, but I don't know what it could be. At this point, it's probably safe to consider further misfortune inevitable. That may help us determine the cause before any reversible damage is done. Any irreversible damage. Yeah, you wouldn't go to sleep after seeing that at night. I don't think I would either. Jesus. I'm telling you, it's the cat. Everything okay? Everything's fine. Yeah. yeah. Mm. We're still talking about this cat. Okay. Why even keep it? I know. Here's a question. If you're also creeped out by it, why don't you just throw it out? It's my dad. He refuses to get rid of it. Oh, dear. He says the previous owner was this famous author who met his demise because of the statue. Do we believe in superstitions? Not really. I'm quite, um... What's the word? Yeah, I don't really. Nah. I'm yeah. pretty, pretty uh, rooted in science and logic. Yeah. The only sort of superstitions I have are like if I sort of do something a certain way and it sort of goes well. Like rituals. I guess a bit like that, you know, sort of like the sort of like, okay. You wear your lucky pants if, 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 if you like. I don't you, do it to that sort of extent. If you bowl <laughs> well on a particular day, you might wear the same outfit or something. Like that kind of thing. That is sort of a bit like that with certain like shirts I had actually with that. But um, it, it's basically doing. Yeah, skeptic, yeah. Yeah, I was. Always, it was a case of, yeah, like sometimes if I was doing things a particular way and it worked well, I would try and do the same thing again, sort of thing. Yeah. The statue was cursed even back then. Yeah, my dad said the guy died when he hit his head on it. Majide. That is quite the story. Apparently his whole fan base is obsessed with the statue. That's why it's considered really valuable despite the curse. Uh, do Who's the author, by the way? Oh, I, did, I, I broke a mirror like a few years ago and it did feel like I sort of had... You had seven years of bad I, luck. I felt like I had yeah, seven years of bad did. luck. I, I can't have had that much bad luck because I got you in that time. Yeah. No. Uh, or maybe that is bad luck. <laughs> 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 um, the spamming the B button when throwing a Pokeball count. Yeah, fair enough. Um, walking past a cracker, a black cat, or breaking a mirror. Uh, so breaking a mirror I've done and yeah, everything else is just like me. Well, uh, Kitan Amasawa, he was a mystery novelist and my grandfather. Oh, the plot thickens. So, her grandfather, this is her grandfather's cat. Oh, okay. Eh? What? Your grandfather? And you said hitting his head on the statue. I try not to walk under a ladder just generally because it might hurt if it fell on you. Yeah. Oh, Pam, Pam likes them. I was yeah. Oh. Fun. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, oh, stop it with this sentimental crap. Yep. Yeah. Eh. Only if this is truly the same, exa exact same statue my grandfather owned. Mm hmm? You don't know if this is actually the same one. Jitsuwa. My grandfather has been missing ever since he passed away, about seven years ago now. Shortly after he died, my grandmother pawned it, pawned it off. She always thought it was rather creepy. Naruhodo. Can you tell from this picture if it's the same one as your grandfather's? Oh my gosh, sorry. It's nothing to do with the game or anyone's company or anything like that. I'm just suddenly... Mm. Mm. It's hard to tell from just a photo. This was also seven years ago. But I do remember that the cat was cursed even back then. <sighs> My grandfather was somewhat of a rarities collector himself. Of course, he jumped at the chance of owning a one-of-a-kind unlucky cat. He was famous for his somewhat bizarre tales of mystery. I can definitely imagine him wanting a statue like this. My grandfather was quite taken with it. He bragged about it quite a bit when I was little. But I'm sure he never imagined his life ending because of his unlucky cat. All right. A lucky cat took the life of Amasawa's grandfather seven years ago, and now it's back, wreaking havoc for another family. Yeah. I, what? I, I'm sort of... That is the one thing that... Like, if I had a superstition... Not a superstition. If I had... Um, yeah. 
if there was anything that I believed in that people might scoff at, it might be about spiritual, like, like not ghosts as in, like, you know, creepy ones or anything, but just the fact that... Like, you know how people say, like, young kids can see them and then they grow up and... Like, you lose that ability. I do wonder if there's, like, a connection, but, I, yeah, I don't know. I think there's probably logical, rational explanations for all of it. But it is fascinating, like, hearing people's stories about that kind of thing. Um, sorry, random side thing. Alright, cool. Yagami-san, I'm not one to believe in the supernatural. All mysteries must be approached rationally, no matter how unusually they may present themselves. That's what I firmly believe. Except in this case. Because logic is always found at the true core of any mystery. Yeah, exactly. Like, when cats are being weird, or... Like... And just... Like, possible reincarnation? Like... I don't know, like... Squish One has said certain things where I'm like... How... And there probably is a rational explanation for it. Like, she probably has just heard someone say something in a certain way. Like, and we just haven't realised where she's heard that from. But mm. There'll be certain things that it's like, how do you, A, know that, and B, like, that's before your time. Like, how would you have known to say that sort of thing? Um, so you're like, have you had a past life or something? I find that sort of thing kind of interesting, but I don't know mm. if I believe in it or not, like... It's just kind of cool to think about. It's kind of nice mm. to think about that there's maybe that sort of thing. Anyway, yeah. I'm distracting from the actual... Wind Logic is always found at the true core of any mystery. Yes, there's usually a logical explanation. Mm. Winges about me doing side quests. Yaks on about a tangent. <laughs> Goes off on <laughs> random fucking tangents about ghosts. <laughs> right. This is but that's also why my grandfather's unexplained death has stuck with me for the past seven years. Mm. I assume the police ruled it was accidental, right? If that's the case, it kind of sounds pretty explained. No, actually. On the night my grandfather passed away, I also experienced a... strange event. One that has no rational explanation and could only be considered a supernatural phenomenon. Yeah. Really? What happened? Different music. Mm. This feels quite significant. It does, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not sure how to explain it. Let's just focus on finding out if this is actually the same cat or not first. I got that. Sure, we could do that. Rare for Amasawa to not have the words. Yeah. But this could be the actual statue that took her grandfather's life. I can see why it'd be so tough to talk about. I'm getting to the bottom of this case one way or another. If something's causing all the tragedies around this cat, there's a good chance more will, oc will occur. I don't want anything as awful as what happened to my grandfather to happen to anyone in the Shimada family. Makes sense to me. After all, you're all about preventing incidents before they take place. Hi. Yep. And not only that, this case is personal. Yagami san. Would you please help me get to the bottom of this? Ah, well, I've already sure. said yes. And yeah, we can't of back out now, can we? The MRC's advisor's got your back. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you. Mm. A... Yeah, that's what I mean, Kimo. Like, I was going to use an example of um, Squish One. Um, mm -hmm. After, like, basically, so, like, her great grandma, my grandma, died March 2020? April 2020. April 2020, just after the and pandemic like, started. Squish One barely knew her. Um,. And she had this painting in her house of her in like a red dress and a white, possibly a white cardigan as well. Maybe it was just the red, dre uh, the red dress. But basically, like a while after her dying, Squish One just randomly came out with at bedtime that she'd seen Grandma June outside the nursery window wearing a red dress. And I was just like, that's fucking weird. But I don't know, like, we live near an old people's home where there's often like older people at the window and sometimes they wave and I'm like, well, has she seen some someone in there as we've walked past on the way back from nursery and she's thought, oh, it's Grandma June. 
um obviously like kids that age like you know three four they're like working out death and stuff so maybe like there's probably an explanation for it it's just really fucking weird as an adult because you connect things like that Mm -hmm. Um, but you are reading it into stuff because you, maybe there's a part of you that think would like to think that that's a thing, when it's probably not. Yeah. Um, Emo says that is pretty weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Freaked me out a little bit uh, when she said it was Grandma June, and I was like, "What the fuck?" I feel like she said it a couple of times when we went past past that I, nursing home. Later moment, on, we? she did say it when we went past the nursery home, nursing home. So I think it was actually that she'd seen somebody in there. But the first time she said it, the way she said she saw Grandma June in a red dress standing outside her nursery window, I was like, what the fuck? Anyway, <laughs> it was just really... Yeah. It was a really specific, weirdly specific thing for her to say. It was. Um, and this was like, you know, good, like, year and a bit ago. It was like it? a year and a bit <clears throat> after we'd been in the house where that painting was. And, like, when how old was Squish One when she died? She was, like, three? Not even three. Not old enough, really, you would think, to maybe have... We didn't see her that often, either. It was just a really weird thing to say. But kids say fucking creepy things sometimes, so... <laughs> Anyway. On that note. On that note. To let's... start with the investigation, first things first, I'd like to see the statue in person. Eh. <laughs> Good idea. Shimadakun, do you think your father would mind showing it to us? So. I bet he'd be over the moon to have one of Kitan Amasawa's descendants confirm his statue's the real deal. So how are we going to do that, then? I'll give him a call now. Dad, you busy? He says, yeah, he'd love to meet you guys, in fact. Good to hear. Where should we meet him? I asked him to meet us at a cafe near the station. Plage. Plage. <laughs> It'll be faster than getting him signed in at the school's reception and everything. Is that okay? Plage. I don't know why I like the name Plage. I would have felt bad asking him to come all the way here anyway. I'll make my way to the cafe now. Let's meet out front. Okay, looks like we're going to this cafe because we can't yeah, do anything sounds... else now until we finish this off, but that's fine. See you soon. All right. See you soon, but you're still here. What? Well, she's waiting for us to leave, then she'll just follow on and a bit. And she'll just disappear. Oh no, she's, a she's actually following me. Okay, fine. Uh, yes, well we did. It was soon after your grand died, wasn't it, that uh, we did the charity stream. We were, we were raising money for Macmillan. Because Macmillan had supported her in her last in her last weeks. few months, yeah. Last months, yeah. Yagami san wa fudan kara bikou sareirun desu ka? Would you say you tail people? Shigoto da kara na. Target ni kizukare nai kotsu wa nan desho? Watashi wa kizukare chau koto ga ou in desu. Yeah, nan desu kara no kokou sei ga bikou suru kikai aru nda yo. Jiken no niyo ya kizukere to wa. You hate tailing. Aite ga don na yatsu ka wakara nai shi kiken daro. I'm supposed to have my back here, though, right? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah.お前が事件に巻き込まれるぞ。その視点はなかったです。一緒に行きます。No. It would be good to do another charity stream at some point. Um, well, I've already said that I. You're gonna do hard mode on the next main. I would say so. Yeah. Fantasy. Sure, I could find us. It doesn't numerous. even have to be for Macmillan, it can be for something else. Absolutely, I was Anyone? thinking it could be for a different uh, charity yeah. at the we've, time. We've got any um, good charities that, uh, we come, could. You know, any, any that come to, come to mind. Parkinson's is another one that I would support. Yep, yeah. Alzheimer's on Alzheimer's, my side. Obviously. I've already done, yeah, well, yeah, actually, uh, Alzheimer's done, is a pretty big one. I've lot. already done. Uh, there's a big. Yeah. Bring it. You're regretting having a fight with me now, aren't you? Does anyone have the last judgment of Steve? And I didn't know that was one. That's all. Really delve into the DLC for Lost Judgment. Um. 
I played the main game to death and then just didn't get into the DLC. Oh shit. I did a bit of a bash there, didn't I? I think is going on the floor and is about to get his face. There we go. Oh, okay, so now we can go to the next one. Are you done yet? Oh wait, the last judgment is too fast. Oh, don't say that stuff. Yeah. Oh, Steph, you have I was thinking it, someone had to say it. Now you've got to do 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 it. Now you've got to You've been with me however long and you're asking that question. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you said I've bought too much bleed shit recently. Yeah, but this is dessert. This is a bit different. <laughs> it's food. We've had a much better week this week. We've been good and it is Friday. Week, and it's Friday. I love that we're like talking trying ourselves just... into it, trying to justify it. Oh, I was hoping you'd jump over it. It's the first one on the list as well. Obviously. Fine, what do you want? <laughs> Nacho. Here, oh, this, this, it, it's this place. Oh, Plash. it's Clash. Clash. I was never thinking we'd heard the name before. Oh. I mean, your, your, your dad's almost shorter than you, mate. Hello, oh, yeah. sure, sure. Have we seen you before? Your name looks familiar. The oh. Adventures of Tired Senpai and his sidekick, Junior Detective Chan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you getting, Steph? Oh, go on, Steph. <gasps> Spill the beans. What are you having? Could get churros. No. Mm, get nachos. No. That guy. Um. Oh, what's his name? The comedian. Oh, Sean Locke. Sean Locke. He died recently. Did you really that, know that? That's, that's a while ago now, that is. All oh, right, okay, yeah. Well, okay. But yeah, yeah, I did know that. Whoa, chicken wings. Chicken wings? Whoa. Shout. Yeah, we're talking about dessert, though. You dip in every now and then. Ah, oh, cool. I thought so. I thought I recognised you. You're the guy who gushes about the entire Yakuza series. Fair enough. You're in good company. You are in good company at the moment. Ah, your Kitana Amasawa Sensei's grandchild, right? Hajimemoshite. Nice to meet you. I'm Kyoko. I don't remember her name being Kyoko. Kyoko Amasawa. Domo. Shimada, Mikio Shimada. My sons told me about you. Thank you for being such a good senpai to him. Oh, Mi mini egg specials. Oh, mini eggs. I thought you, for some reason I was automatically thinking cream egg, which you know oh. I'm not a huge fan of. No, I'm not going to get that. I love it. It'd be pretty cool if Amasawa showed up as a detective in the inevitable Yakuza 17 in, in 10 years. Right, how do I how do I order the thing that we normally get from here? So go to orders. Oh. Order it the, the big order it again button. We only got it. Oh, it was like a month ago. Yeah, fine. We've been good. That one? Or do you want... I'd like a different one version previous. of that because it was a bit... That it was a bit naff, wasn't, wasn't it? Sorry, we're talking about dessert and you're probably thinking, will you just get on with the sodding game? Distracted by dessert. Hang I'm on, surprised seeing you for the first time. You definitely have Amasawa blood in you. <laughs> you're like a heroine ripped straight from one of his novels. I can already tell you're not just a nice face. You're as smart as a whip too, aren't you? Yeah, I'll get that one. Oh, I forgot to look for cream eggs. Well, have you got Reese's eggs? I think you're onto a winner with the Reese's eggs. I'm not huge cream I person. bloody love a cream egg. Something went wrong. You can't get the... Oh. Has anyone else here wasted valuable time getting the platinum trophies in every Yakuza game? Uh, not us, but Quick Man, who doesn't appear to be here tonight. Quick Man has been trying to do that, I think, and mm. he plays it on Legend. 
Yeah, we need to. I was I was considering doing it for Yakuza Kiwami 2, and then I just got to a certain point. It's like, you know what? I, fuck tr this. I tried, and it was some of the mini games. I mean, yeah. I think it took me. Like, you saw me playing that fucking Fantasy Land, Fantasy Zone game. Oh, yeah, that one. And I had to try and get 50,000 points, and I managed it after much swearing and frustration. And then I realised I'd have to do Outrun, and was just like, oh, fuck this shit, you know? Yeah. I was doing all the, uh, what was it, the bouncer missions in Kiwami 2. Oh, and then yeah. when it got to the ridiculous ones at the end where the um, Amon brothers all got involved. Oh, no. Um, but there was one of them, the, the very last one, where you had to fight three of the Amon brothers in the same fight. Oh, God. And that was bad enough on fucking normal mode, let alone on having to do it on hard and end legend after that. Okay, this won't let me do it. So hang on, half, is it half as? Box. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Are you not doing it from a previous order? No, because it keeps going weird. Oh, it won't of course, let me. Yeah. So what did we get before? Waffle. Kinder Bueno waffle. Yep. Um, Sorry guys. One second. Ferrero Rocher cake slice. And brownie with. Brownie with Milky Way. Milky Way brownie. Yeah, go for it. That'll do. Oh really? Ah! Come on, Dad. Cut it out. Oh, my apologies. And uh, who's this with you? Yeah, I'm just. I'm Yagami, outside counselor for the Mystery Research Club. I'm primarily a detective in Camarocho. Oh ho, a genuine detective. This is just getting better. Ah, oh, there's an exploit that makes the final Amon fight trivial. In Kiwami 2? In Judgment, or...? If it's Judgment related, don't. But if it's Kiwami 2, I'd be interested to hear it, because I'm wondering whether it's the same way that I ended up eating him. <laughs> The seasoned private eye trawling the seedy un underbelly of the city with his wonderkind teen, wonderkind teen wonderkind. Sidekick, sidekick. Bloody hell. Man, I already want to buy the whole series. I'm really sorry about my dad. Let's head inside, huh? <laughs> right. you remember writing Premier Adventure, you can buy as many revive stones for those aim on bouncer missions as you want. Now in Kiwami 2, so before you carry on, Shersha, Shersha, apologies if I've just mispronounced your name, is it to do with the fact you just like keep changing the weapons around and just doing the heat actions on the on the weapons, the different weapons? Because obviously if you do the same heat actions, it doesn't do any oh, damage. Oh, the weapons vendor who sells the broken ass stuff like the infinite pistol and the lightsaber. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I that's the way I did it. I didn't, I didn't do it that way. I did it with the... Um, you know, changing weapons and using different heat actions, basically, to so yeah. have all the different sort of kinds of weapons, and then just like made sure I had heat. Mm -hmm. As soon as I was near him, I'd, I'd do a different heat action; it would do damage on him. That's the way I did it. Right. Uh, so, for the mystery at hand, may we see the unlucky cat statue? Here. Yeah. Yes, of course. Squirrel. Here. Yeah. Yes. Hey, for once, I shout squirrel, and it's fucking useful. <laughs> Hey, that was a better high five as well. Yeah. I'm glad you remi reminded me about that. I don't know. I, I can't that. remember what we do with them. What do we do with the squirrels? That's it's, the radar. It's like a Wi-Fi That's the radar, radar thing. One, that is. Use the sensor on it. Oh, fuck Shogi. Yeah. yeah fuck Shogi. You can buy the cheap thing for Shogi, though, <gasps> can't you? Da, da, da. That basically tells you what moves to do. So this is it. I brought it to a taping of that TV appraisal show a few years ago. They couldn't determine whether or not it belonged to Kit Amasawa, though. But if it turns out to be the real deal, it's supposed to be worth two million yen. <laughs> what? Two million yen? Yeah. I mean, considering its legacy, it's basically the holy grail to his fan base. Oh. But still, two million. I'm a star. What for that? Because of, because of her grandfather. I've not been following this at all. So her grandfather is like a super famous like mystery author. Oh, okay. Um, so, and right. it was his cat. Okay. If it's actually his. Do you think you can tell if it's actually your grandfather's? Please feel free to inspect it. In that case, allow me. <gasps> this deep red stain. Masaka. Is. Is that from where your grandfather. I'm aware of the. Uh, what we need to do with the squirrels. Evo, thank you. That's why I shouted squirrel. <laughs> yeah. No, it's from when I splashed ketchup on it when I was little. <laughs> ketchup? Yeah, I've been eating a hot dog in his study and got ketchup all over the room. Whoops. Eating may not be accurate, more like swinging it round like a sword. I was really into this historical drama at the time. My grandfather and I watched it together. Uh, I was like, you, you were quite a little hellion as a kid? This is a... But this stain, I don't know if it's anything else could make it clearer to me. This is my grandfather's statue. I knew it! Yeah. 
We can get millions for this. Wow. Talk about the score of a lifetime. I know. Sorry if this question comes across a bit strange, sir, but I must ask. Oh yeah, of course you did. Yeah. <laughs> Does this statue ever ever make noise? Like maybe a meow? Does my cat statue meow? What makes you ask? <laughs> the thing is, on the night my grandfather died seven years ago, I heard it. This cat, it meowed at me. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, <gasps> Is this the supernatural phenomenon you referred to before? Eh. Yes. No. Could you give us some more details? Sorry, I know this must be hard. I understand we have to do it for the case. This is the first time I've seen Amasawa like this. Amasawa. You're saying you definitely heard the meow of a cat on the night your grandfather died. Eh. I have no doubt. I believe it was around 1.30 in the morning. I woke up in the middle of the night to get a glass of water and pass by my grandfather's study. That was when I heard a meow. Whoops. Meow sound coming from the room. Did your grandparents have a pet cat, or maybe it was a stray outside the window? Oh. No, they didn't have any cats, and I definitely would have known if a stray had gotten in. With Rampo in the yard, no cats could have gotten in without embarking up a storm. Of course, I've got my Rampo. Hmm. Uh, we tried out the demo stuff, and I literally did the first five minutes and hated the feel of the combat, passed it over to Sherbs and you streamed the rest of it, didn't you? Yeah, I think we got to like the sort of the, the, you boss, got to the boss and I didn't I didn't manage to beat it, but no. I had a reasonable attempt at it, or a few attempts at it. I? I haven't played Dark Souls though, I've only tried Bloodborne. Um, and I enjoyed Bloodborne. I don't think I'd beat it though. And I distinctly remember the sound being loud enough to come from the room, not from outside the house. Majikayo. Creepy. What's even creepier is I can remember my grandfather telling me more than once. When that cat cries, misfortune comes calling. Nanate. I was given strict orders to never even approach the study if I ever heard a cat meowing in there. That's why once I heard that cat, I ran back into my room and hid, terrified. And the next day, my grandfather was... That must have been so hard. If I'd just been brave enough to go into the room instead of running, I could have maybe I could have prevented my grandfather from dying. No. Seven years ago, you were only about eleven, right? So she's that means she's eighteen now? Yeah. Doesn't look eighteen, if you ask me, but that's me. Right. Truly artful detective can solve incidents before they even occur. We haven't played like a dragon yet, Teddy. We're, um, what are we up to? I've just finished five. I've got to play zero next. You're playing zero next. I've played zero, but we haven't done it on the channel. So Sherbs is doing zero. Uh, and it's been so long since I've played it that it's practically blind for me again. Uh, then we'll do six, then seven. Yes. I remember the ghost videotape in Kiwami 2. Yeah, I vaguely remember it yeah. too. I wonder if her grandfather's own incident has anything to do with Amasawa taking that saying so seriously. Okay, let's ask about this incident seven years ago. Amasawa. You said your grandfather's death was ruled by ruled an accident. Was there even a slight chance it was actually a crime? Eh. The police came and checked the scene, but they said they said they couldn't find anything suspicious. Besides, it happened in a locked room. Not only was the door to the study inaccessible, but the crescent locks on all the windows were still secure. A locked room death and a cursed statue. This is sounding more and more like one of Kit and Anasawa's books. What's a crescent lock? They're the most common kind of window lock in homes for a reason. They get the job done. I doubt the windows were a point of entry for anyone that night. Okay. Since the police didn't see any signs of a break-in or even a struggle, they really had no recourse but to rule death an accident. So it's doubtful this was a burglary gone wrong. Afterwards, the unlucky cat creeped out the whole family enough that my grandmother pawned it off. Unsurprisingly, the family lost track of the statue after that, so I never expected to see it again like this. Yes, we did chase a ghost in the last in the last game, that's right. What next with this, then? Nice to meet you. Thank you for going out of your way to help us today. It's my pleasure. Did you find any clues? Maybe even a lead now? Mm. Unfortunately, I'm not so sure. Mm -hmm. um. Look out! That was fortunate.
Are you okay? I'm so sorry, I guess it wasn't secured all the way. Masako. Was that the unlucky cat? Masako. No way. Please, what's it going to take for you to get rid of the statue? Even I'm starting to get freaked out by this. Well, we should get home. Thanks again for today. Just no problem at all about the fact that, like, a metal plank nearly smacked on top of his head. Actually, sir, would you mind leaving the statue with us for a while? What? Leave it with you? Until we can debunk the curse. Aren't you worried? This curse is starting to look pretty real deal to me. My grandfather once said, curses only blight their believers. Did he now? He also said, you must never succumb to the marvel of a mystery. You must keep your wits about you. Despite my age, he imparted his philosophy of mystery solving to me before his death, and I hold the truths he shared with me in the highest regard. As his grandchild, I cannot back down to these strange events and turn away from a genuine mystery. I refuse to believe in this curse, therefore it will have no effect on my pursuit of the truth. But still, not only that, this is a mystery that needs solving by an Amasawa. Oh, when I heard that meow seven years ago, I ran from the truth and the result was absolutely horrible. I'll never make the same mistake again. If that's the case, I'll leave it with you. Please find a way to break the curse before something bad happens again. Thank you. Oh great, so, oh no, we've got evidence. Okay. And the cat. I heard you bought the statue from a friend who runs a second-hand shop. Which one would that be? Ebisu Porn, obviously, in a Jincho. Ebisu Porn, got it. I'll go speak with him now. He's re she's really into this case. Guess I shouldn't be surprised, considering... Well, I should step up my advising efforts for her on this one. Definitely. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. The Shinada falling objects and stuff. <laughs> I was thinking that as well. Right. Uh, where is Ebisu Porn? I suppose you know that is one I can just do this, can't I? Kinka Pharmacy. Where is Kinka Pharmacy, actually? I feel like farm going to the pharmacy would be a good idea because I'm running out of medicine. Yeah, it is kind of weird playing this. Oh, I can't um, skateboards when oh, I've got Amasawa yeah. with me. No, because you'd leave her behind. What's she going to do? Like, hop on your back? It is, cool. kind of, it is kind of weird having not played Yakuza 7, like, that's, I think someone was saying, that's like the one sp sort of spoiler in the, um, Kinky Pharmacy. Kinky Pharmacy, yeah. In, in that basically the Tojo clan kind of is no more, and we don't know why, but... My big boy. He's just been run over by a bus. Oh, thanks, Teddy. Thank you very much. I was all the way over here. Greg Chun is actually going for the platinum on this. That's awesome. I knew that he was played in sport, but I didn't know like how. Hardcore and was about it, or whether mm -hmm. it was just sort of casually doing it. Fair play. So I'm going to Kinky Pharmacy. Yeah. Ooh la la. Have you got some good stuff, mate? Looking for anything in particular? Yes. Medicine. Oh, what the fuck? Experience a hug in liquid form. Stretchy rubber. <laughs> Ooh la la. Thin, yet durable, and quite elastic. It's usable as a, a material. material. <laughs> what are these hug bombs? Oh, okay. Um, gives you SP you... and tells you the bomb. Yeah. Secret contact. Hemostasis booster 2. Reduces bleeding duration. Okay. 
It's liquid SP. So if you I really want to MS cheese it. Fair enough. So I've got a shit ton of money, haven't I? So yep. I could. Right. Uh, air pawn. There you go. So that was actually, I actually went this way and it was actually vaguely in the right direction. Slightly. Fine, bring it. I don't know what happened there, but that was cool. Come on. Doing it just by mistake. Let me get him. Wallop. Get up. The snake is just OP, isn't it? You've gone very quiet all of a sudden. He lost yeah. in thoughts. <laughs> I'm contemplating pudding. Pudding. I was trying to hear whether Squish wanted woke up. Mother. I feel like I can hear noises. Oh, no, look. Oh, the chat's uh, broken, is it? To be honest, are you actually on... Kibo's chat is broken. Are you actually the only one on Twitch right now, though? I think you're probably the only one on Twitch. That might be why. Yeah, so everyone else you're seeing is actually on YouTube. That's why, Kibo. That would be the reason why you can't see anybody else apart from yourself, because nobody else in uh, nobody else is watching us on Twitch today. Is, um, is Pam on YouTube? Oh, is Pam... Pam, you're, Pam there? you're normally on Twitch, aren't you? So maybe you're just not saying much. She might not be there right yeah. now, of course. Yeah, we <laughs> we multi-stream to both at the moment. Um, oh, that's all right, Pam. Pam you're allowed to be quiet. It's fine. Um, you are allowed yeah, to just enjoy. But yeah, our main channel is the YouTube one, and then Twitch is sort of a bit of an afterthought at the moment. Um, yeah, so that's the only way really we've worked out how to get people able to see the chat is to have it on the screen. Yeah. So no rude comments, otherwise it'll be forever <laughs> on the video. Mm -hmm. Is this a bad time? I'm from the Yagami Detective Agency, Takayuki Yagami. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Oh. A detective? I'm his assistant, Amasawa. That's a Toyota Yaris. <laughs> You're his assistant, a high schooler? Oh. Is there a problem? Yeah. No, not particularly. Uh, what is it you wanted to ask? We're looking into this lucky cat statue for Mikio Shimada-san. He says you, he knows you. This is for Shimada-san. Would you mind if I ask, how did you first come to acquire the statue? This pawnbroker friend of mine closed up his shop, so I bought his remaining inventory. He couldn't vouch for the statue's authenticity, though. We know it's the real thing, but maybe we won't fill him here. Him. There oughtn't fill him in on that. Words mixed up again. Now you can tell it. I can tell I'm getting tired now. You don't happen to know who sold the cat to your friend originally, do you? Nah, sorry. He told me it had been passed around a bunch before I ended up in his shop. He didn't know any specifics. Probably why he couldn't authentic authenticate the thing. Thanks anyway. One last question. This might sound odd, but when when you still had the statue in the shop, did anything strange ha ever happen here? Eh? You mean the curse? Nah, I don't buy into that stuff. Nothing ever had happened here to make me change my mind either. Mm. Nothing at all? Nope. The guy I got the statue from never mentioned any of the, any of the sort, although I suppose he might have just not wanted to sound crazy. I see. Does this mean the so-called curse didn't begin until Shimadakun's father acquired the statue? Ah. Uh. Sounds like it. Oh. Mm? Oh. What's that? Smoke? Yagami-san! It's on fire! Oh shit. Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, we got the fire out right away, but as soon as you have no idea where it came from, just whoosh out of nowhere. I'm glad that didn't get any worse. Masako. Oh. Bye. What do you think started that fire? Mm. I have to say, the number of incidents around this cat is getting ridiculous. I don't think this is coincidence at all anymore. Mm -hmm. You smell something. Gasoline? Yes, that would mean there's a chance of the fire early was actually arson. Hey. Yagami-san, what do you say we search the scene real quick before the police get here? Ah. Let's check and observe for any traces in the area. Keep sharp for anything like gasoline trails or containers. Hmm. You're thinking about ice cream. Hmm? Hmm? What's this? Something was dripping here. I'd wager it's gasoline based on the colour and smell. Ah. Goes all the way to the alley. Let's see if we can track it. Mm. I'm thinking about ice cream too. Oh. Plastic bottle, more gasoline smell. Ah. The fire at the pawn shop was actually arson. But who's the culprit? No idea, but let's fill in the police and the guy at the shop and what we found first. Okay. How should we proceed with the investigation from here? Oh, I don't know. Now we know the fire at the pawn shop was intentionally set, what I'd love to do is pin down our little firebug. Eh? Pin them down how? Ah. I don't know anything about them, but they're obviously after the statue. Maybe we can just lure them out somehow. Mm. A solid enough idea. Where should we start? I suppose meandering around town ought to do it. Considering how quickly the pawn shop was hit, I can't imagine it taking long. Mm hmm. Some genuine hard-boiled legwork, eh? A lot riskier than my usual investigations. Ah. Definitely going to be more dangerous than I like. That's why you ought to head back to... I think not. Please allow me to continue on the case. Ah. Uh. Uh. I need to solve this myself. Please. Look at that. Okay, well, uh... Fine, but you really have to be careful and keep your distance when we're in public, got it? I'm basically a walking tragedy yeah. magnet carrying around the thing. Eh. I promise I'll be safe. Where should we head first? Preferably somewhere that makes it easy to watch our backs while we kill time. How about we play darts? <laughs> you want to play darts? Why? Only one person has to take their eye off the surroundings at a time, and if someone does come after us, you can always counter with some darts to the face. Uh... Ouch. I have to give you points for the overall plan, but darts to the face? <laughs> Sounds foolproof to me. Make no mistake, I'm actually quite good at the game. My aim's solid enough to be able to hit a human head. Yeah. I think it'd be best if I handled any incoming threats, and if you, if you just don't say that kind of thing to someone, maybe. <laughs> well, uh, after you. We're not out here to play games, but this case has also been a pretty big weight on Amasawa. Maybe it'd do us some good to blow off Let's Steve. kick her ass at darts, then. She's probably going to kick my backside Have you darts. played darts in this? I can't yes, remember. Yes, I have. I played it Were against the... Were you any good uh, at this version? Uh, oh, uh, the ninja some guy. All right, yeah. Let's play for a bit. Keep your eyes peeled for any suspicious individuals along the way, especially if they're approaching you. I'll be careful. This is a small place. We'll definitely see anyone coming for us here. Are we actually going to play darts? Yes, we are. Why did you pick beginner darts? That's all I've got. Oh, okay. Bye. Yes. Yoroshiku. <laughs> I quite, like, quite like the fact we're doing some stuff with uh, 20. That's one. You want the triple? I don't know. Yeah. No. <laughs> Bloody hard. Oh, I can hear a squish too. Yes. 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 Any? Yeah, he's oh, sort of, bless him. He's stirring, bless him. Right, I'll oh, go and fuck. sort... <laughs> Whoops. I'll go and sort him out. And then, um... Oh, it would be good to finish this chapter, wouldn't it? It would. So hang around in town. Come right, and hopefully I'll get down. Okay, cool. Or we're missing out for the... Uh, Obviously. Uh, yep. <laughs> well, you said you were good at this, Amasawa. I, if you're going to throw a dart to someone's face, I, I would hope you're going to be hitting more than, like, 14. Oh, 
Oh, bollocks. Brrr. I do enjoy the batting cages, to be honest, even though I'm not always the best at it. There we go. That's more like it. Close. Yes. yes. Low time. I suck at darts in real life. Triple 19, obviously. Yes. That's pretty decent. Pretty 80 more than you got last time. Now, I get darts in terms of what you need to do, but I'm not quick enough to sort of do it without having to sort of consider it. Oh, I'm going to get bust. I got a turn 80. I think that's the first time I've done that. You're supposed to get down to zero exactly. If you go beyond it, then, you know, you don't win. And you've always got to finish with a double. Nice. Alright, so I've got to get, it'll tell us what we need to get in this, won't it? So it's gonna tell me to get a triple seventeen and like a bull or something. Oh bull single eleven bull. Okay. Bust is going beyond zero. Oh shit. <coughs> Nope. Triple 19, double 20, okay. There's 19, there's 19. Oh, bollocks. Or just not do it now then, okay. Yes. Okay, so I need a double 9 to finish. Suddenly she's getting bullseyes. <laughs> nice. Sorry, what the fuck? <laughs> you hit 14? Well, you're all over the place and somehow you're getting three bullseyes in a row. What the fuck? I need a double nine. Where's nine? Nine's up there. All sing oh, oh, okay. Well, I was actually going to do it the proper way. Oh, bollocks. There we go. I hit double 14, so I'm bust. I'm probably going to lose now, because she's just going to get, like, treble 20. Oh. Okay, so she's back to... Yes. So she's getting rather close to my liking. If I can do it with a single, I'm going to do it with a single. <laughs> It seem to be nice and saying that I can do this. There we go. <coughs> Out. <laughs> now, in reality, in real darts, you have to get a double to win. Which is why I went for the double nine last time and then fucked it up. Oh, <laughs> Should I have gone easy on you? Well, I was by the end. Don't rub it in. Did you see anyone suspicious? I forgot to look around. You seriously weren't looking? I guess I sort of got in the zone there too, like I say. Didn't make for the best cover activity. Well, it worked better for us. It would be embarrassing if I'd lost, but I was coming very close to losing to it. I could watch for our potential assailants. The batting centre! <laughs> Okay. Fine. If you want to go to the batting centre, a bat makes for a much more effective defensive weapon than darts. Fair point. I'll handle the fence part, but let's get over there before something bad can happen to us here. 
It does look a bit suspicious him at him being out like, in these places uh, with a schoolgirl. <laughs> Where is the batting centre? Oh, it's all the way up here, isn't it? Oh, shit. Batting centre all the way over the other side of town, obviously. あまり考えたくはないですね。真実から目を背けていいのか。受験という真実から。もう、チャッチングアウェイ。やめて。やれやれ。行かれますか。ああ、もう軍さ、グレイ、here we go. That's a bit unnecessary. Wow. That was very unnecessary. Getting me with a really homemade flamethrower. Ah, oh, well, I'm sure I'll pass some of the wheat on the way, or will I? That's the Liver Nouveau where I went to last time. Cafe Brave or Brave. Yeah, I know what you mean, Steph. I sort of got into the batting. Um Oh a Nouveau Riche guy. We're we gonna go for another Nouveau Riche guy. You know what? Let's do it. Heat action with Amasau would be pretty cool. Deal with this guy. <laughs> Fucking hell, that was a good hit, wasn't it? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Taking a battering already. Wallet. I'm gonna get some uh, get some more health in me first. Because he's not easy, this guy. when I'm uh, in extreme heat mode. Oh, fuck. Doing it again. Managing to get one hit in and suddenly I'm getting knackered. Fucking hell. There we go. Whew. I could use the taxi. That would have made more sense, actually, wouldn't it? Carry on. Oh shit, I'm going completely the wrong way. Oh no, there's these guys as well. Oh, intermission time because I think our dessert is here. One second, guys. Right, hello guys. Back again. Oh god. This is the Polaris oh, Tavern. Thankfully, she's named it. So I know which screen I need to go onto. Um, so we're part way through a fight. Um, dessert has been. Squish 2 woke up again. Um, and that's why we've been a bit longer, and as you can see, as it's not back, so Squish 2 is still... I don't hear noise anymore, so that's a good thing, but I have a feeling he might have fallen asleep on her. So, she said she's going to try and get back up here at some point. Um, but we're going to carry on for now. Hopefully she'll be up at least for the next bit when we go and find Sour again. But, yeah. We'll see what happens. It's already quite late over here, it's like quarter past 11. It is Friday, so it's okay. Um, I know she, she'd be quite keen for us not to be on for too long, too much longer, so let's see how we get on. Okay, this, this is sound going really, really weird, or is it just me? Oh, 
いい加減にしろよ聞かれますか Sound gone weird or is it me? Your boxu. Ah, is that the sort of latest collection of Japanese treats that you've showed us before? I'm trying to work out if the sound's gone weird on this at the point, so if you can let me know whether you think it does sound any different, that would be good. Ah! That's why it sounds different. I think um, one of my uh, headphone leans had come slightly out, so it wasn't completely there. Ah, nice. Is it sort of a different selection compared to uh, to last time, or...? いらっしゃいませ。それ different。Oh, Deco Rush. Ah, cat food. Special for Sakura season. Very nice. Do share and appreciate if you feel up to it. Aim for Cafe Brave first, just so I don't forget what's going on. So yeah, I probably could tag in this, right? <laughs> But oh well. You miss out on all the fights. How, many SP, how much SP have I got at the moment, anyway? Mm, I suppose I've had no major sort of amounts of SP granted to me. It's literally just been fighting, hasn't it? Those school kids. Yeah. Oh no, just. No, no. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna uh, regret that. Ooh, very nice. That sounds very good indeed, Pam. Well, that worked out okay, didn't it? Definitely topping up on the food after the. Uh, what's this place up here? Small burger food truck. Okay, fair enough. Then. I'm trying to. I think I have done the batting in this, or have I? I can't remember if I've done the batting in this so far or not. I can go in here. Well, this looks nice. いらっしゃいませ。Have a sandwich set and some milk. いただきます。これは。Ooh, ごちそうさま。Maybe. ありがとうございました。Lovely, right? Disappointed that he didn't come along and buy her a, a sandwich set of her own. Oh, well, here's the batting center. See how I get on with batting, then, shall we? Made it safely. Let's get right into it so we don't look suspicious. <laughs> Acting natural. All right, slugger, show me what you got.、Mm -hmm. You're not going to bat. Does it sound more literarily inclined and athletically inclined? Okay. Even a bookworm could swing a bat.、Mm. A bit too hard boiled of detective work for my, test, my taste. Can't have anyone sneaking、Hi. up on us. Leave it to me. Okie dokie. Select a bat. Well, I have literally just the basic bat. The cake was very nice. Thank you, Blue Sea. Waffle cake and brownie, I think we got. Ah,、oh, this music. Cartobas. Yes. Yes. Maybe remembering this. Oops.、Mm. Did that very well, did I? Here you go. Yes. All the practice on Kiwami 2 is coming in handy here. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I didn't say that, I'd fuck it up. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs>
Mm, obviously, it's going to move. getting an A this time, am I? Yeah. You get used to, like, the uh, sort of directions that they go after a while. I'll take six. Yes. Six out of ten. Could be worse. Could be. Are you having an off day? Fuck off, I've got six home runs, thank uh, you very much. It happens to us all. Oh, well, yeah. The bookworm has to make me feel better here. Sure worked up a sweat. Ooh. Have some water. Uh, no. When are you going to start at zero? I'm not entirely sure. Hopefully not, not too distant future, Blue Sea. Uh, but, yeah. I'm sort of thinking, do I really want to be playing this and... Zero at the same time, so does that worry? Uh, we're playing on Chart 4 at the moment anyway, so that's going to be the main focus. Mm. I've seen a few somewhat suspicious people, but no one who seems to be paying us any atten attention. Why don't we take a short break? Okay. So what's going to happen during the short break? No. Nah. Can I ask you something? Is your grandfather the reason you started the Mystery Research Club? Hi! In fact, he's the reason I grew so obsessed with mysteries in general. He's been a very big influence in my life. So do you see yourself becoming a mystery author in the future? Mm. I certainly hope so. No, more than that. I believe it's something I must do. Aww. Hi! Truth be told, my dream is to complete his unfinished masterpiece. Yeah. You have an unfinished manuscript of his. Yes, when he passed away, he was in the midst of completing the final entry of his most popular series. He got roughly halfway through the draft, but he didn't write anything about the most crucial part, the jewel reveal of the culprit and the method. Yeah, I know what you mean, you know. Um, sort of need to be careful with <laughs> not getting burnt out, like you say. This guy. He didn't leave any notes behind that even hint towards what they could be, so no one knows how he meant to finish the book. Sounds like you've got some real work on your hands. Indeed, although I recently realised something that could be the potential answer to the mystery. Yeah. You really are good. <laughs> I'll have to send you a copy someday for that one. Let me know if you figure it out before you get to the end. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Excuse me. What? Something's going to happen to her, isn't it? And we're going to have to rescue her. Who's watching us? Someone is watching us, aren't they? Or maybe she's realised. No. What's going on? Please keep eye contact and pretend we're just chatting. Huh? Why? There's a man across the street who keeps looking at us. Mm -hmm. There is. Now that I think of it, he was at the arcade too. Eh? He followed us here? Eh. Seems so. He wasn't acting suspicious there at first. But later, when I took off with the statue and hid from his sight, he was looking around in a panic like he'd lost sight of something. Do you think he's been after us the whole time? I know. I'd presume so. How about we take a bit of a calculated risk? What is it you want to calculate? Hi. If I stay here and distract him, we'd be willing to slip out and loop back around him. That way, you can catch him before he has a chance to escape. Naruhodo. That's a solid plan. I'll get over to him real quick. Find that back door first. Normally this way, isn't it? Right, good. He'll definitely see me coming from here. How can I sneak up on him without getting caught? have a disguise.
Okay, how do I? Oh. How can I sneak up on him? Right, okay, well, let's uh, do it this way then. Wear a disguise. That'll do, the work clothes. I was thinking about one of the other ones, but I thought that one will do. This should do it. I'll move slowly enough to not call his attention. What? Hey. Mm -hmm. oh. And you're the firebug at the pawn shop, right? <laughs> Keep away. The cat. The lucky cat. Oh, do you want this? Um, you want it because it's evidence, right? Because what's still on it? You saw it? You saw it? Hmm? Saw so what, pray tell? Is there something on this cat that could put you away for good, perhaps? What? Excellent bluff, Amasawa. You let him right where you wanted him. Wah! What? Now we have the final confirmation. So what is it on this cat that could get you in so much trouble? Hmm? <laughs> you, tried down to, you tried to burn down a pawn shop over this thing. What's on the cat that you need gone so badly? Who knows? Answer us. What do you know about Kitan Amasawa's death? Hey, I said stay back. Uh -huh. Get off. Hand it over! How dare you! Wow, she's got a good kick. Amasa. We said you weren't suited for the hard boiled work. Because <laughs> it was a bit rambunctious when I was little, still have it takes to raise a bit of hell when needed. I'm just gonna kill you both and take it. My job from here, stay back. How tough are you gonna be? I'll do. And then we'll finish him off with a kick to the face. 10,000 SP. Fucking hell, man. Ugh. What? Uh... Great, he's out cold. <laughs> Let's tie him up, just in case. <laughs> Doesn't look at all suspicious, does it? I don't want to do it. <sighs> it got all gross. Yagami-san. Considering how this man reacted to the cat, Sasuruni. I believe there's at least one secret to it that we don't know. Ah. One that neither your family or the police knew about at the time, either. Eh. If that's the case, it's not going to be easy to discover. But I can't say that there's absolutely nothing of it. After all, it was one of my grandfather's most cherished rare possession. Possessions, even. Why don't we give it another thorough look over? Good idea. There's a slight gap around the neckline. I thought it was all one big, one big moulded piece. Right there. More power now has mud on it. Must have been from where it got dropped earlier. Could it be there? I see now. Hmm? This eyeball jiggles a little. Actually, I can push it in a bit too. Oh. Interesting that the eyes are actually separate parts. But why make something so elaborate? Mm. I'm not sure. What's it got in here? A jiggly eye and a gap around the neck. I wonder if they have any function. What do you if the eyes and the neck are, could it be? An eye for the truth will eventually find the way. Hold it to that hold on to that keen eye and take a good look around you. None of that. Eto. I just remember my grandfather saying this once while holding the cat. He said it would pry, but it always stuck out somewhat odd to me. Sasuruni. Maybe he's giving me a hint all the way back then. A hint to how the cat works. Eh. You give me clues to see if I can pick up on a mystery as a sort of game. Naruhodo. 
What do you think he meant? Hold that, hold that eye and twist his head, I'm guessing. Perhaps we're supposed to hold onto the eye and make the head go around. Use the vampire costume as well, did you, Lucy? So Kimo and Lucy both use the vampire costume. I was considering using the bar one, but yeah. Look around. Should hold the loose eye in place and spin the head. Yep. Leave it to the wordsmith, huh? Let's give it a try. Do it. It turned! The arm! It just meowed. So it's a trick statue. This is what your grandfather was hinting at. No one in my family had any idea it could do that. It appears it has a secret compartment. It looks empty though. A smudge. A fingerprint and a dark red stain, all dried up. That's blood. I'm so screwed. Masaka. But let me take a guess, that fingerprint's yours? This blood? To Kitana Masawa, doesn't it? Uh, what do you know about this? Did you have something to do with his death? You're that man's granddaughter, huh? <laughs> I think his granddaughter would be the one who caught me seven whole years later. Answer me! Getting, no getting away with this now. I'm just so tired. I'll tell you. Alright, let's hear the truth about what happened to him then. Hopefully they can get some closure indeed. Let's ask about that then, shall we? It happened seven years ago, like you know. I was up past my eyeballs in debt. I needed a lot of money and I needed it by sunrise. That's when I spotted the biggest mansion in the whole neighborhood. I'd heard some kooky famous author lived there. Masako. You snuck into the house that night. The place was huge and all the lights were off. Figured I wasn't getting caught. This guy. Rampo was in the yard. Our dog, I'm sure he would have barked at you. He was too busy chowing down on the rice ball I tossed him. <sighs> oh, sometimes you're so sweet. Too sweet. No. Nah. What do you do next? When looking for his study as fast as I could, I assumed all the real goods would be either stashed away or on display in there. It was late enough that I figured everyone would be asleep. But when I found the study and peeked inside, I saw the old man just barely lit up with a candle. He fiddled around with the cat's head, opened the thing up, and took something out. I couldn't believe it. Inside that cat, the old man had a bar of gold. A bar of gold? The way he was grinning at it, I knew it was really. It had to be worth millions. I jumped at him without even thinking. We tussled for a bit, so I grabbed the cat and I whacked him in the head with it. How could you? And then you took the gold and ran off. I thought I was going to be made for life, damn it, and in the end, the goddamn loan shark just swiped it from me and pretended it never happened. How'd you get out? The study was locked when the police arrived. That. Don't ask about the cat. Well, let's just ask about the locked room, because we know why he wanted the cat, because it was the evidence, right? I'll do that anyway in a second. You're we wanted to get the statue back so you clean out the compartment. That's right, I didn't know for sure there was a fingerprint in it, though. Mm -hmm. You mean you did all this just to be cautious? I was wearing gloves that night, so I wasn't thinking about fingerprints, but once I got away from the scene, I saw I had a tear in my glove and my finger was covered in blood. Tsumari. So you were worried he left some kind of trace. Mm. I read the police ruled his death as an accident, so I knew they didn't find any prints. But that secret compartment, that could have been a game changer. There was a solid chance I left a trace of being in there. All it would take was one person to figure out the statue's secret and I'd be screwed. Like now. That's why I tried so hard to get the cat, but it fell off the map pretty quickly. For seven whole years, that damn cat's been the only thing on my mind. The one thing on my mind. And all of a sudden, about a month ago, I see the fucking thing on TV. The cat I see in my nightmares all the time. We did hear about it getting appraised on TV at some point. Mm. Let me tell you, I was shitting myself watching that fancy pants appraiser looking, o looking it over with his little magnifying glass thing. If he popped that compartment open on TV... Phew! So you saw the current owner of the statue on the appraisal show, and that's when you tried to get it back from him. Ask about the locked room. 
I panicked after accidentally offering the guy. This went from a simple robbery to a potential homicide fast. No worries, Giancarlo. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm hoping that we will be there on Monday. So yeah, have a good one. We'll see you soon. I made myself focus and came up with an idea. I'd use the cat's arm gimmick to make the whole thing look like an accident. Huh? What do you mean? You'll see. Should happen any time now. Eh? It closed? You were smart, that old man. It built, it's built so it closes back up automatically. The arm sprang back up with surprising force. That's what I used. Uh. You rigged it up to the window, didn't you? Sounds like the apple didn't far fall didn't fall far from the tree. Amata. Mind explaining? He stacked up some books by the window and put the statue on top with its arm lowered, mind you. I also assume he arranged the books rather unstably so it would collapse. By placing the cat in the right spot, it was Paul would shoot upwards and engage the window lock, effectively sealing the room. He must have slipped out the window and after quickly arranging the scene, then waited, hoping to see the gimmick play out as he planned before he could be caught. When the time arrived, the paw shot up, whacking the window lock closed, with enough force to knock over both the cat and the stack of books. This was the window right in front of the spot where my grandfather laid. Yeah, it is. It's a pretty... Um, Elaborately thought out, isn't it? The scene must have ended up looking like my grandfather had fallen and hit his head on the statue. なるほど. I get it now. That garb arm must have been my grandfather's secret savings. It explains why he never told any of us about how the cat worked. It explains why he tried to scare me away from the room if ever I heard it meow. I can't blame your family for never finding out. I doubt anyone would have checked the secret treasure before getting rid of what they thought was a regular creepy statue. Curse of the lucky cat statue, all due to a secret my grandfather took to the grave. <laughs> Finally, I know the truth. Just like a mystery writer would hope, I would have been really screwed if you were this smart as a kid. I'm going to ask about the truth. Oh, does that mean you're the one causing all the trouble for the Shimada family? Probably, yeah. First I tried sneaking into their place to get it back, but the guy just woke up on me. When I told him to give me back the cat, he thought I was a ghost and straight up passed out. <laughs> he did say he started suffering a mysterious illness after that night, a high fever to be specific. Oh, that that's no mystery. I had a cold that night, must have given it to him. <laughs> You're still screwed now, yeah, exactly. Explains that part. He tried to burn their house down too. Uh, since the intimidation failed, you thought you could just resort to torching the evidence. Civilians be, civilians be damned. Are you the one who tried to run over Shimada-san too, and the one who caused the accident outside the cafe the other day? You really are a good kid. I figured if the owner died, his family would just get get just as creeped out as the last one and get rid of the thing. Uh... What a scumbag. And what about Shimada-kun's grades dropping? What about what? I guess he doesn't have anything to do with that one. Fear makes mountains of molehills. Because they were so convinced misfortune would befall them, even the most harmless things were perceived as part of the curse. That policeman looked rather like Yagami as well. I still can't believe a statue had a secret compartment the whole time, let alone a gold bar at one point. At least I can finally chalk a non-supernatural cause up to the meowing I heard that night. Ah. Good point. If you think about it, the curse attached to the statue was just another layer of security for my grandfather. Not only does it have a secret compartment with a gimmick to opening it, but it even has an ominous story surrounding it designed to drive people away. Perhaps this amused my grandfather enough to make this one of his cherished possessions. I could see I'm that. Sorry. At any rate, Amasa, I'm glad you were able to get to the bottom of what really happened with your grandfather. Eh. I agree, truly. I can't tell you the weight that's been lifted off my shoulders. It's all thanks to you. Ah, uh, I don't know. You were really sharp on this case too. Uh. Really? You're the one who figured out the trick to opening the cat. Not only that, you solved the locked room murder right after learning who did it. Mm. That's true, but still, I sort of feel like your grandfather was hoping you'd solve the statue's mystery all along. Think about it. Why else would he ask you a riddle about the statue while holding it if he wanted to keep it a secret? Mm. 
even with what was in it. If I'd solved the mystery, I'd find out what's inside. Maybe it was meant to be a gift of for future you or like a prize awarded to full-grown detective Kyoko Amasawa. Oh. Mm. So when I don't fall victim to lies and push past the fear, I can find a glimpse of the truth. That definitely sounds like my grandfather. The gold might be gone, but you still grew to become a fine detective and solved a genuine mystery just like your grandfather predicted. I'm sure he's proud of you wherever he is. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, lovely. Are you? Well, that was an interesting sort of side side quest, wasn't it? Wonder if there's anything else you can actually do in there. I wonder if you're able to. So we got since uh, Kaz is nowhere to be seen yet. I'm going to check my phone just in case she's messaged me. I'm going to go and check and see if there is any dancing now. It probably isn't, but it's worth having a look, right? Oh, she's back. So we can go and uh, ask about dancing. You're going to help us with practice? Let's have a look, shall we? Any new songs? Nope, I haven't got anything new, have I? Ah, uh, still two more songs to get. Give up on the dance, can't be fucked. There's nothing new there. I love the fact that this dance club is just always just standing there, not doing anything. I'm just going to drop Kaz a quick message and see if she's likely to be up. You never know. She might. But she might not. I'm actually getting messages back from her, so you never know. She might be able to make it up. I'll just walk slowly while I'm waiting. Oh, I found stretchy rubber in the men's toilets. Right, okay. Messages I'm getting back suggesting that uh, Squish 2 is he's asleep, but it's still a bit unsettled, so. Let's finish the chapter now. Be good to get to the bottom of this. No sign of her. This is Sawa Sensei's desk. Has she not come back yet? Ano, Sawa Sensei ni go yo desu ka? Eh, shokuin kaigi te mo watte mas yo ne. Tsui sakki o watta tokoro desu. Tada Sawa Sensei wa tochu de kaarare tan desu yo. Oh right. Mo ichi jikan kurai mai ni. Eh? なんでもご自宅のマンションから空き巣に入られたって急な電話がかかってきて空き巣それで矢上さんがもし来たらそう伝言してくださいって沢先生からそうですかあの沢先生の連絡先とか教えていただけないですかいえそれはちょっとあじ
pick up. It might be quite a ride still until the end of a chapter. Okay, in which case we won't be finishing the chapter. That's fine, I'll probably bring it to a close after this bit then. そうですね。歩いて行ける距離ですから。そう、先生の家がですか。じゃあ、偉人町に。ええ。まあ、細かくどことは教えてきないですけど。そこで、ファンアパートメント。なるほど。プライベートなことですしね。わかりました。ありが